Okay, hello YouTube and hello people who are here during the live broadcast of this. Ooh, live broadcast, I feel so formal saying that. Um, so I have been absolutely eyeing up this. So Trisha Paytas went on the Megan Trainer podcast. Um, and this is uploaded on Megan Trainer's like Vivo channel. <laughs> So if you want to, you know, go watch some All About That Bass, maybe you can have Working On It, Motherhood, Part 2 with Trisha Paytas. Um, so, wait, is there a part one of this? Surely not. An hour 25 minutes. Jesus Christ. Um, and I'm seeing a lot of comments calling this out um, because apparently there's a moment in it where they say fuck teachers or something like that. Um, I have no real idea what's going on. I'm going to watch this for various commentary purposes. I've really wanted to watch this, actually, because I think it's just such an interesting, interesting pairing. Oh. Oh. Oh, I thought that was the Hi Chip one. Sorry, I was waiting for it to read out Hi Chip. Um, so anyway, let's get into it. I hope you're all doing well, and let me know your opinions of it down below. All right. What an interesting pairing. So who's this other person? Does anyone know? Why does my container have a podcast? Everyone has a fucking podcast. <laughs> I wanted to have a podcast until I was like, wait, everyone has a podcast. And I was like, maybe I'll just do streaming on Twitch instead. Um, okay, wait. Oh my god, they do Twitch stream! <laughs> Spoke too soon. Welcome back to another Ryan Trainer. So that's her brother, I would assume so. Yeah. Especially me, especially my managers, especially our friends um, and family and Ryan. And me. <laughs> because since the first day we started this podcast, I have personally been saying, I want this guest on our show. Yeah, since the beginning. Since That's the first time that has been said about Trisha Paytas in approximately five years. So good for Trish. I think this was organized, by the way, from... Is anyone on TikTok and sees that annoying guy, Chris, like pop up on like every single video on your For You page who's like... Megan Trainer, social media manager. So obviously Chris was the one that kind of organized this, if I had to guess. The beginning of time. Because it's really the main goal of this podcast. This is all I've been waiting for. I, like, this is I watched you forever and was like, I want to be as confident and vulnerable and out there as she is. Trisha Payton! Yes! Is she dressed up as the all about that bass look? Because that's kind of camp, actually. I mean, yeah, you're... Uh... I hate Chris. Holy shit! You look like I'm all about that bass. Yes. Oh, oh my gosh. Like when you were saying that, it's so funny. Okay. Well, we can go more into it. I have a reason I'm dressed like this because you. So fast. Yes, I know. I love <laughs> you, it. You, you, obviously. I mean, you like inspired me because I. This is a true, true, true story. And I was telling my sister this on the way over here, and I had to wear this outfit because in 2014, all about the bass came out. Obviously, and in 2015, I wrote my first ever song, which wasn't really a song. It was like 10 verses, but it was called Fat Chicks. And I. I'm a fat chicks. Where are you at? I don't know the rest of it, but I know that line. Because I had a friend um, who was absolutely obsessed with Trisha Paytas' music. And, like, before I even watched Trisha Paytas, like, I would hear, I'm a fat chick, where are you at? It was, like, a knockoff <laughs> of your song with your music video, like, a 50 style. And oh, I was like, shit. I wouldn't be like this. I wouldn't be all about that. It was so big. And so that's why I worked. Because I was like, you, like, kicked off my music career, which is just me paying for music. I've not seen making all your music videos. I was going to say, yeah, you're, you're a pop live... star. You're rock star. <laughs> you're every star there is. Susan. I've seen live concerts. I remember when you went on tour. <laughs> I did go on tour. Yes, you did. I like lip sync. I mean, I really don't. It was don't. so good. We loved it. Yeah, I, I always wanted to be a pop star, but I don't sing. I'm just not a good singer, but I like to sing. No, I so love when, when you just, like, get on TikTok and you're like, I'm going to sing and I don't care. <laughs> and people are like, oh, she's so funny. And I'm like, I'm not trying to be funny. Trisha looks beautiful here, actually. I'm not saying that's, like, a shocking thing, but I'm like, she looks good here. She looks, like, well put <laughs> together. Really <laughs> Trisha did go on tour. I love it. I love oh. it. So that song, yeah. like, changed my life for real. And I was, like, you know, I wasn't even, like, that young. I was, like, 24. So, like, I was, like, older and stuff like that. I mean, it was meant for, like, kids. But I was, like, oh, I, like, really, no, like, really for the world. It's for okay. everybody. Yeah. Well, I know. I saw your, like, little Guinness World Records. Like, was that your number one streaming song? It was massive. It's, but I just, it's, it's like, the one. Yeah. I mean, it has to be, like, the most popular song yeah. ever. It's crazy. I'm fast like, people. Fast, fast people. I love it. But that's so iconic. Great. That's what I'm trying to remind her. She sometimes forgets. She's, like, I don't want to be the bass girl for I was, like, this, that is your moment. You made yeah. a moment in history yeah. forever. Like yeah. you inspired so many people. I mean, like mm -hmm. Tr Trisha got got so in the game. Like, yeah, Megan Trainer loves "I Love You, Moses." Because like, like now there's like this new generation, right? That like knows you from like your songs on TikTok. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that. Like I feel like they don't even know all about that basic. Because that was so massive. Megan Trainer is one of the artists, like one of sorry, the only artists that would be absolutely fucked if TikTok was to get banned. Because without TikTok, Megan Trainer is okay. That's kind of mean to say, but like. Um, Megan Trainor is one of the only artists I know that like fully depend on TikTok and like not TikTok to like promote your music, TikTok to like make you almost like an influencer so people like care about your music, which is fine. But um, 
I just yeah and that Chris guy really annoys me that's it for that time but I feel like now you have all these other songs that's why I was like wait is that your most popular because I just feel like all your oh songs God, are nice. I literally checked if this was in like fast motion or not it's like normal yeah. Yeah. anyone said to me yeah, yeah. I really did <laughs> I thought because I know you're so my many biggest. <laughs> that's, you're like, that's crazy for me for my generation I was like definitely but I thought maybe the TikTok you know they, you have this whole new generation like, oh, you're a superstar is, yeah, is it, well it's just like all the streaming and stuff is all different now you know yeah to like adjust to it and I feel like yeah. so many people like couldn't adjust to it which yeah. is always crazy too to see like a mainstream person on TikTok. Cause I was like, wow, she's like mainstream. That's not mean to say her songs just are suited for TikTok. Yeah. I hate the TikTokification of music. Um, I think the only like TikTokify thing that I like in music sometimes is like sped up songs. Um, but I mean, creating like one minute songs, creating songs with the purpose of going viral and stuff like that, it just like ruins music. I feel like that's a lot of Megan Trainor's music. And I actually loved Megan Trainor's. Um, song uh waves it's like take me like a wave it's like a very experimental like ep or album or whatever for her standards i guess and it was really good and then she went back to making you know do we like her song mother again it's a fun song but i just whenever i know a song is being created with the purpose of doing well on like tiktok i'm like just i'm just kind of like lame it was on tiktok and you like do tiktoks it's not like you just do it to promote your music and you then, do, but like yeah remember yeah, like you just love that i love yeah. that I'm, I'm a doom scroller i can't yeah. poop without it i can't shower without it i yes. can't like, i have a bit of an issue do with chores that now, without it yeah. i can't do chore i can't do like if i'm like putting my clothes away i'm like well i'm alone is that weed they have on the table like right here might as well put tiktok <laughs> you know like yeah it's a friend I just wish um, they had a thing yeah. that you could like scroll for you because I bought it. The little pink thing, it didn't work. Oh, <laughs> there's a little remote. Doesn't I don't work. know. Yeah, like when you're doing dishes, it'd be nice. Yeah, like... it's like peak lazy. I want something to scroll through my timeline for me. Have someone scroll for I you. I just always there's a button that's like automatically scroll. Yeah, like I... if I want to rewatch that eight times, I'll let you know. Right. You know. <laughs> right. Right. Do you watch it all the time? TikTok, yeah. Yeah. So you're like on it. Yeah, we had to like do a rule at our house where it's like two hours before bed and two hours in the morning, and like that's it. Like otherwise, I was watching it like all day long yeah. and I was doing nothing. Wow. So now we do. Junkie, thank you for resubscribing. Um, I think it's so <laughs> funny just like hearing people talk about like TikTok addic addictions because I mean it is a very valid thing. I mean I kind of like you know I just I don't limit myself. I'm not like two hours on the dot, but I mean it is an app you can get lost on. Yeah, hours. I think I have a three hour limit on mine, but I. <laughs> always just say fuck you have a off. limit i've fuck tried to, i tried to do a limit. a limit yeah you I have don't. to or those ones where it's like stop scrolling you've been scrolling too long like take a yeah. break oh i hate those bitches <laughs> but i love like, like me, me and megan i mean she only like messages me with TikToks, TikToks and mainly your TikToks. <laughs> mainly like, we speak and yeah. just trisha yeah, we speak TikToks. And wow oh my god trisha and i had to like like not train you into this world I she old like youtube shorts <laughs> I mean, do people use them? Opened my eyes. Oh, okay. to... He didn't know who you were, and I was like, "This is Trisha," oh. and he's like, "Why are you sending me these?" And I was like, "Just no, I... watch this." And I then did. He... I was just and like, "What is he's... happening here?" I can't well, even now, imagine. Now I'm locked in. When... Remember when Megan stole Trinity the Tuck sandwich on set of Track Race? No. Yeah, when you do your you ASMR. When you do your uh, ASMR, those I am are my favorite ones. In. They're so good. ASMR. So I when love you ASMR. do the makeup and you're like. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who it is so nice. you? How did you learn how to do that? You know what? I did ASMR since like 2009. I've done it for so Are long. Are you fucking kidding me? That's yeah. Like so good. No, I... wait, I thought I turned that off. Um, thank you so much, Jelly Belly Ellie. Um, one thing I do want to say is it's just surprising to me that like people don't know that Trisha used to do ASMR because I remember there's a video on Trisha's channel that I used to watch like whenever I was like in school where she was like doing like what was it it was like she had like trish skin oil or something like that and she like there was this like random man and she was just like scratching his arm and that like was my shit but i mean yeah we're definitely starting off the, definitely this podcast is going to be a very like echo chamber thing i'm guessing which i guess was the same whenever we watched the Jeffrey one recently. Well, I yeah. am like an OG. I mean, there's the on your YouTube. Yeah, I don't. I watch yeah. your YouTubes. Yeah, yeah it was like sense. low fi Like some of my popular ones are like tapping on like an iPhone, which is like the iPhone. It was like really, really low fi and people just really liked it. It's like so weird. I don't know. Yeah, it was like one of the first things that I like did on there, and I like loved it so much. And now it's like really popular again. Yeah. Like YouTube was like kind of going downhill, so I started like the ASMR channel and like came back up. So I don't know. It's like kind of YouTube. And it's ASMR. So like, YouTube was going downhill, as in the same thing Jeffrey says, where Jeffrey's like. Oh, YouTube's dead. Mama, just no one's watching you. It's okay to admit that. You're sitting with Megan Trainor. She knows that.
Look at it. I've never been like, God, I need to put on some ASMR, but he. Oh, really? You don't get the tingles? I don't get the tingles. I do. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) The audio levels in this video are absolutely horrific that I have my hand on my volume butter and I'm, or button, and I'm literally going, like, scrolling up and down. I apologize for that. This is literally not in my control. The audio level is so bad in this video. I'm sorry. Some people are like that. Yeah. yeah. I was I watching it. it like ironically on my Twitch channel. I was like, guys, what is this? And then now I'm stuck because she like, sent me yours it. and then it started popping up on my TikTok. I'm like, this is so nice. Yeah. It really like calms me. Down. I'm an anxious little guy. Yes. yes. Okay. He That's why recently... I drank so much. I drank so much because I was so a ball If you of don't know, in. he was recently alcoholic, but yeah, yeah, yeah. a functional oh. one. Oh, yeah. wow. So no one ever had a problem with it yeah. until it became a problem. And right. now. It was, yeah, I mean, it's secretly always a problem for me. It was always right. a problem. Right. But like Sorry for us, we were like, you're so fun. Yeah. Um, and, and <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, you get in your late struggling. 20s, it's like, come on, man. Figure it was, it was right. Messy. It was no, messy. it's hard. So yeah. now he's but, been sober for almost two years. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, coming to June. Yeah. Did you have to, did you just do cold turkey? Cold or did you turkey. Yeah, just cold turkey. We could have had a seizure. We should have probably checked No, I should have went to the doctor, especially because I had fallen on my head. He fell on his head. That was like the bottom. Yeah. I woke, woke up, up on my bathroom floor. Blood. 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 There's always a rock bottom. There's sure. the, was there that COVID? Was, was that COVID time? It was like right after. I was yeah. pregnant. I wonder if they're bringing this up to like to segue into asking Trisha about like her addiction and like what was that story of Trisha? I feel like I'm predicting what's going. They're being more smart than what I think they are. If they do this, what I think is happening is I think they're bringing up his alcoholism so then they can ask trisha about times she struggled with substance and then segue into drama and the jason jason nash story all right we'll see if that's true mama if i have anything to my name it's that i qualified as a journalist in college and i think this is exactly where it's going i think this is where it's going i think they're they're talking about them and then they're going to segue that conversation to Trisha, then about the drama, to Jason, drama story. We'll see if I'm right. We'll see if I'm right. This is like tactics that like journalists use. So we'll see. I may be wrong. They may just, we'll see. In COVID, so I, and they live in my house and I was like, you are not allowed to leave the house and get we'll COVID see. and bring it back. I'll kill you. Oh yeah. So I was also like, hey, social butterfly, yeah. trap in, the, like be trapped in my cage. <laughs> yeah, you know? smart. And I was and just so probably. dramatic about it. I was like, I'm so drunk. I was like, what's so the stupid. Po- Sorry for you being in this nice house. You know, yeah. Bringing this up six minutes into the podcast, they want Trisha to talk about hers. I can promise you not. And if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, I really couldn't be asked to do any dares. But if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But I feel that bringing this up as one of the first conversations is they're trying to immediately get Trisha to talk about um, the Jason Nash story. We'll see. Cause that's a big story. You know what happened? <laughs> and you know what happened yeah. is like once I got to leave the house and I went back into the world of. Like- I'm not discrediting anyone talking about sobriety or anything like that. I think this is you know I think anyone talking about it is so important. But all I'm saying is, from a podcast point of view, to bring it up six minutes into a thing about your own experience, I feel that they are like poking Trisha to talk about the Jason Nash story where she talked about being on a bunch of substances and she did. Um, that thing to Jason's house. I may be wrong, and if I am, then I'm wrong. Like the party scene, I was like really fucked up one night, and I'm looking around. I'm like, this isn't fun. Like this is what I was waiting for this whole COVID. And then I kind of like that's when I really lost my mind. I was like, what is like this is this is all I had. That's fun. Like this is terrible. Then I yeah. kept I don't know. I started like drinking alone. Extra. Did you like going oh. out? <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. They only brought that up so that they could get Trisha to talk about the Jason Nash story because that's one of the biggest things that Trisha talks about that gets attention. I fucking knew it. Sorry, I'm like... Bravo, Adam. Bravo, Adam. I will give myself credit for that. I saw the journalistic approach and it worked. Right. I, I always was in that. my apartment. People always think like, oh, Trisha's so crazy. I'm like, I always did all my videos in my apartment because I had no On your no kitchen friends. floor? Yeah, I didn't Maybe. go out. I never did. Yeah, I never went out, nothing. But, um, and yeah, COVID, I still don't. And now I have an excuse because I have like, you know, I have a little it's baby. It's the best, best yeah. excuse. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I got a baby. And then, oh, he's teeth. <laughs> oh, maybe Trisha's not going to talk about it. Thing. Yes. Leave. Yes, and during pregnancy too, I literally saw no one because I got, you know what, I totally relate to you because I never got COVID the whole time. And Fair play. Trisha's segueing the conversation away to um, motherhood, which the podcast is about. 
And then when I was pregnant, I got it twice, and I never left the house. And I was like, how did I, like, to go oh, to the grocery yeah. store. The so one I, time I got COVID, I was like, how? Oh I my have God. not left my home. Yeah, and I was, like, pregnant. I was so Fair play to Trisha. She derailed that pretty good. It was really bad. But my baby was totally fine. But they say you can go to, like, labor early if you get COVID. So I get it. Like, I was, like, super strict on it, too. I was, like, so nervous when I was pregnant. But, um, yeah, I never, like, going out so much. But you look great. Like, usually people who are, like, alcoholics, they have, like, redness. You know, whatever. You look, like, fresh. Thanks. I mean, I'm sweating right now, and I'm really nervous. But, yeah, I... I kind of turned it around pretty well. I cut it off at 28, so I feel like oh, if nice I kept going, it probably could have turned out yeah. a little messier. But yeah, just water, a lot of working out. Running. Yeah, now he's 7 a.m. Oh my yeah. god, he does a he does I a cold feel like, plunge. Oh my god, wait, what is that like in the in the bath, like an ice bath? I feel like yeah, nothing yeah. would be worse You're than a cold plunge. Yeah, oh my god, right? is it like a plunge pool? Like, yeah, yeah, it's a, no, it's, it's like, like a little tub. It's like a bathtub, but of ice ice cold water. Wait, why? That's like a bubble. I agree with Trish on that. I agree with Fishy Trishy. Wait, I kind of want to say it though. I feel like it would rock my world. Have you not it's heard so of good it? Thing. I would love to do it. I do anything like I you do meditation. would love this. What do you do? You just you get lay ice. in it and die, and what? then yeah, yeah, yeah. you come out you and die, then you're like, and I then you come back incredible. to life. Wait, I was gonna say, don't you like get like shocked? Yeah, yeah, well, like it's amazing. It's good for you. My favorite yeah. thing about it. There's yeah. so many health benefit benefits. Yeah, but the that best is, is that it. That's Megan's you brother. Work on my panic attacks because you basically get in and you're having one. And you're like, let's not freak out and die right now. Let's survive. Just breathe. So wow. they're like, breathe, breathe, breathe. And then you're like, you go numb after 30 seconds. So then you can just sit there for like three minutes. Ooh. And when you get out and the sun hits your skin and your blood comes back and it tingles, it is a high that you will never find anywhere else. Yeah. Oh, I would love to do it. Because I that's what I learned. Like I had like a, I still have mental illness, but I had a really bad mental illness. So I can't control myself, like my emotions. Yep. So I started doing meditation, breathing. And I'm like an expert breather. I know that's <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to laugh at that, but what I'm laughing at is I'm thinking of the video of her meditating on TikTok Live where people are throwing tomatoes at her. <laughs> Remember, we brought it up on the last stream. <laughs> it's my favorite video of all time. Sounds like crazy, but like honestly, then you would be so good at this. Video. Yeah, I should come over in the morning. Oh my god, I mean, it would be. It would, it's also, it would just be content. Yeah. Everyone would be needs to see. Oh my god, they that'd be everything. That. I would love that because honestly, like I do. In the nicest way, this is a very boring podcast set, right? No, I'm just being mean. All this holistic approach is not. And I feel like I really, I know people will get mad at me when I say this. Like, I feel like I cured my mental illness with it, which is like yeah. uncurable, like borderline, whatever. But like, it, I seriously think it's like cured. It's also like a conference room. Yeah. You know, so and I that's can, number like, one, especially yeah. being a mama. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> I was on antidepressants throughout my whole pregnancy and before and after. I always appreciate any conversation about antidepressant. Yeah, I or I'm with sorry. All my doctors and was Wait. Like, oh, my psychiatrist. Well, what what I want to say about antidepressant meds? Is that the word I'm looking for? I appreciate any conversation about anything to do with mental health and um, taking medication, um, no matter who it is. So I'm appreciating this conversation. Antidepressants. I okay. was like, here's the two bills I'm taking. I think taking. it's so important about to talk to about get it. get pregnant and have a baby. And he was like, okay, get off of this one. This one is totally safe. And all the science backs it up and you're going to be fine. There's plenty of people who have way higher doses than you. I was on like 30 milligrams. He's like, any lower, and it's water. And I was like, okay. Wow. So then um, when I had my baby and my C-section, which is always can be complicated, my baby came out asleep. It's all in my book. Oh. Check it out. Yeah. He yeah, came yeah. out That's asleep, okay. so I got no cry. And I'm in oh, there like, no. Mary. Her kid is so cute. I think he's called Riley. And I mean, she posts the heck out of that kid on TikTok, which I don't agree with. So that's the only reason I've said, seen who that, what the kid looks like. I see. <gasps> and they're like, so at this point, like smiling, they're like trained to be happy during these scary fucking moments. Oh. They're telling Dara like, so at this point, we should bring him to the NICU because oh. he's not really breathing on his own. Mm. And I was like, what a fuck? And all the NICU nurses looked at me and were like, it's because you're on antidepressants. Wow. And his chart just said, all his chart said was mom 27 antidepressants. What? And I, I called my doctors, was like sobbing. And they were like, there's no science that backs it up. They're just covering their ass like. That's fucked up that they crazy. pointed at you and was like, you're the happened. reason. It's like blaming my, and my main doctor was like, That's no, C-sections are crazy. It's crazy traumatic for you and the baby. Oh, yeah. The baby came out, just didn't get squeezed out, like, when they go through your hoo-ha. Right. So, like, he had liquid in him, and, like, he had mm. breathing problems and was sleepy. And they're oh. like, he'll wake up in five days, he'll be fine. Oh, my God. Why did they even say that, though? Like, He'll wake up in five days? Oh, Jesus At that Christ. time, even if that was true, like, why would yeah. they? Yeah, and I almost so drugged up. I was like, okay, yeah. sorry. Oh. Everyone said it would be be fine uh, so it was fucking did, traumatic did you try to push or did you plan the c-section no well, he was breech so okay. he was sideways and his butt was down there like there was no shot oh, yeah. but i got told by a lot of la people like you should get a different doctor and push this thing out and i was like 
I'd oh. like to survive. Yeah. yeah. Like, and the baby too. I'd like the baby to leave. <laughs> yes. You know? Yes. I, as long as I was like, surrender, get this fucker out of me, make it safe. Yeah. I want to know your birth story because I heard yeah. like your water broke, but I yeah. didn't know you had a C-section. Yeah. So it was crazy. Like I had like the perfect pregnancy, like never was nauseous, never felt gorgeous. kicking. I loved, oh my God, pregnancy was the best thing ever. That's why when I see people pregnant on TikTok, like I feel like everyone now is with baby number two. So many TikTokers I follow. Get like, knocked baby. up. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I want you. TikTok Damn. is bad that way. Like you see someone doing like, let's go. Oh, that's not- she wants baby number two because many people on TikTok are posting baby number two. Don't want to be too nitpicky here, but just keep in mind that she says she wants another baby so that she can post it on TikTok, basically, because she literally just said, she literally just said that everyone's posting their second baby on TikTok, but she only has one. She needs another one so she can post that one. No. Yeah. yeah, and I'm 35. My husband's 10 years older than me, so we're like, you know, we're just trying a couple. Like, we want two more kids. We'll see section. They say what three or something you can have. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I true. didn't know that fucking. Rumor. Oh, I don't know if that's true. Maybe someone can. No, tell I us. heard like you don't really heal until like a full two years or something. It's yeah, a trend to have a second yeah, baby. She doesn't want to be laughed out. Yeah. yeah, but my doctor was like, it's fine. No, okay. So um, but yeah, we're like we're trying, but it's hard, and it was hard the first time. But yeah, we everything was perfect. Even the day like I was, it was two days early, and my water broke. Because a lot of people say their water don't break. Mine broke on the toilet. Like it was like flush. I was like, oh my god. Went to the hospital, um, and I was like ten centimeters dilated within like two hours. Like oh. it was like so fast. Yeah, yeah. they're like you're gonna start pushing, and I was like, okay, great. So I'm pushing and pushing, and it was like three hours. And like honestly, like the pushing, I felt like nothing pushing was happening. Pushing for three hours. Yeah, no. it was. Yeah, it was weird. I don't know what. Women are so f- sorry. I don't mean to be like this, but women are so fucking incredible. Like the trauma that like every single woman goes through at some stage during their pregnancy or birth is absolutely terrifying why they were doing that and then my doctor finally came in and was like oh we should just do c-section because the heart rate's dropping I'm like why did no one say this of the baby so the baby was like ready to come out i guess she might have been stuck or her heart rate was dropping or it was traumatic because i was pushing but to me it wasn't like nothing was happening because i was all numbed up too with like the epidural yeah. and i was like oh i don't know if anything's happening and i kept asking like Moses, are you seeing the head he's like no, that as well right. like the fact that like the epidural can make you not feel like you're pushing or giving birth is so insane as well is there a big hole down there and he's like no it's the same like your vagina stays the same it's like your diet <laughs> plan yeah and i get like i saw my aunt get birth just yeah. like a cave I I it. It. no That's it's better when the baby's coming out that fucker stretches does it okay yeah I and you know. see the whole head and it goes like this but so the inside stretch. is like going in the yeah, what's lips the, head is going the lips are okay. being stretched and that's whether you get the tear you know what i mean yeah and some people tear because the lips are like wait and, no. and sometimes they're like fuck it we'll cut it to make it stretch with them it's a nightmare i don't know how people do a vaginal birth like i really wanted to like i really wanted to because i love when you get it at the chest right at the end you know, I know. okay so right. you had your c-section you were freaking the fuck out yeah well actually no because i was on so much drugs too yeah you were I, like let's fucking do yeah. this i was looped up i was so, like i really the didn't even know what was happening yeah. at all like i didn't know like I, I remember seeing the baby and i was so confused like, megan trainer's brother is so awkward in this conversation well there's also little he can add to it to be fair it's also like not his conversation to have so i was like confused about everything happening my baby did cry thank god and then I had you don't this, like, remember, like, the C-section? Maybe because you were exhausted from pushing so hard. Honestly, I went yeah. in there like, good morning, everyone. I'd like to get my baby out. And I remember every second. Oh, you do? Of the yeah. C-section? Yeah. Like, I didn't smell. I didn't hear. What? Wow. It only took, like, 10 did minutes. Did you blast music? No. I wish I did. I played a little song. Oh. Here, like, I because I'm all about that bass, about that bass. That's what Mariah Carey did, not that song. But when Mariah Carey gave birth to her twins, she played Fantasy at Madison Square Garden, her performing it. So her babies were born to the round of applause of Mariah Carey performing. Isn't that kind of bro? Are you seeing it or are you just hearing no, it? No, you're hearing it. I didn't hear it. And I heard awesome. suction and I heard, I smelt me. Wait, I know people always say that. I literally have no idea. The anesthesia was talking to me and then they're like, the baby's out. And I was like, oh my gosh. You were and on then, that double wing. I was. No, I was out of it for you like two epidural, days. And then you had that big drug, right? Wait, did, did they, they give, give you like fentanyl? I don't know. They shot something in my back. Epidural. Which I the epidural. But then and when then you get the C-section, they do like something way more intense because you're like awake. I just don't get the science. So you're on a little fentanyl. Oh, I think, yeah. I yeah that, 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 that'll, that'll do it. it. Yeah. That'll do it. She's oh, like, I, I think I had a baby. I don't know how they figure out the science of like only here down is numb. Because you're like, yeah. I could do this. You know? Oh, yeah, 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 right? How, how did I just know go? right here? They remember. Stop it at the shoulders. I don't remember. I couldn't. I don't think I could feel anything because I didn't even hold her. They just brought the baby to my face and I was just was like, okay. Was she okay when she came That out? sounds very Mariah, like, yeah. She was totally crying. Oh, she, was, she, she cried a little bit. and then That's she was my like, goal yeah. next time. Yeah, are you going to just do a schedule? I mean, there's people in the chat saying that they're, you know, this conversation they've heard before. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm not really going to speak on it because, you know, but... I mean, it says talking about motherhood, marriage, music, YouTube, TikTok, ASMR, and OnlyFans. 
So I guess this is just the motherhood thing. And I think it's also important to talk about experiences and stuff. But I am aware that, you know, these are stories that people have heard, you know, a lot of times. Uh, which is also brother valid. My little brother the other day is on, watching me on the phone book my C-section. And I go, guys, <laughs> we have a new birthday coming. How exciting. Oh, my God. I forgot she's pregnant again. Oh, like oh my God. That's a boy. I literally, we were in a <laughs> full no blown screaming yeah. fight. I was like, I fucking hate you, <laughs> I was like, you try to push it. You try to cut it out. And it's like intense. Like, as a, like what do they call it? It's called like a V-back or something. Like a, a vaginal V-back. birth after I just, I, I'm a pros and cons girl. I've heard yeah. so many cons. So many. Of V-backs. And I'm like, I'm it's, good. Yeah, it's complicated. I know there was an influencer. Her name was Tammy Hambra. She did it. She had like uh, two C-sections and then a vaginal birth. And she said it was like so painful. And all, she did it like natural. Was like, she oh, like, no. I fucking regret that? Or I don't know. She, she was kind of like, I'm tough. You know, she's like an athletic influencer. Yeah. So I think she was just like so tough about it and stuff. Like, I'm like, Trisha murmuring that she wants a second baby because Megan is pregnant. Well, I mean, a couple minutes ago, because it's a, you know, everyone's doing it right now on TikTok. So, I mean, if that's, you know, <laughs> that's where we're at. That's what we're dealing with right now, I'll be honest. Lovely to hear. Nothing has changed. Yeah. Oh my God, that candle at the front says Riley. That's her kid's name. That's cute. Yeah, Steve. Riley, <laughs> that's cute. Birth, it's a nice name. The other way. So I was oh, like, yeah. what is worse? Like, you know, can't stand up. I guess or the recovery for um, pushing it out is four weeks and then C-section is six weeks. Yeah, it was long for me. Yeah. I bled but for I was, six weeks. Oh yeah. yeah. We bleed forever. Yeah. I, I did Moses pick up your diapers for you. Yes. Oh my God, he did everything. He yeah, like, I never yeah. got up with the baby once. Like, I would hope so. Wedding. From yeah. the outside perspective, yeah. like, Moses just seems like the best husband, dad. I ever. love when like, he just seems like the man. Like I he, love when he does like people say he's your assistant. And you're like, yeah. yes, I married my sister because I, I did too. I mean, and it's the best. My motherfucker made me breakfast. He made me coffee. Yeah. It's just a good husband. People are like, I'm like, do you guys not? I'm get like, love? this isn't an assistant. They <laughs> yeah, just don't do not get love. Loved. Yeah. When I explain what Daryl does to me, they're like, where do I find one? Or yeah, like they exist. Yeah. To the point where I'm like, he should do a master class. Yeah. Like, here's how to care for someone. Yeah, it makes me sad that so many people... I'm so high maintenance. (laughs) Uh, I'm so high maintenance. How am I ever going to find someone? Like, I hear this conversation and I'm like, ugh. Having to do stuff for other people. (laughs) I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Sorry, I'm like sweating so much. Like that? say that like oh he's your assistant he does it I'm just like oh, or like he's the nanny for oh our God, baby the and assistant I'm like, talk yeah, he's, yeah. Like, yeah what? my Daryl is like fully stay at home dad Oops, sorry, for my first phone. year it's so cute even now he brought him in. Now- I think that's so great. I think that's amazing. We and- were like debating really hard on do we get a night nurse for this one because we didn't for the first mm. one and we were going back and forth and people who have them love them yeah but Daryl's like you can oh. be the Trisha you just need your Moses wait I don't want to be Trisha but. I certainly don't want to be Moses. Um, I think that, that that's kind of right. I think that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> be jealous. Yeah, and he's Moses like, in the same way. I'm not he's... looking for their relationship, by the way, for context. I'm good without that. He's like, I don't want some stranger coming in here doing yeah. what I do. And yeah. like, let me be your night nurse. Insane. Like, okay. I mean, if it was up to me, I'd be like, let's get a night nurse. Even for this one, because I like kind of get up. I'm like, I kind of feel bad. Like, you're up all the time. Like, it... But Trishy, didn't you say that people who get nannies are basically failing as parents? Trishy, Trishy, Trishy. Megan, ask her about that. Megan, ask her about how she said that people who get nannies aren't really looking after their kid and aren't prioritizing them. Ask her about that, Megan. I want to hear that conversation. He's like, no, I it's want to do it. It's for them. We still have to get up. You right, know I mean? right, yeah. Oh, I was like, it's going to be breastfed. I formula fed. So. Oh, I wanted to formula feed. Yeah. No, I barely made milk because of C-section, right? Yeah. I, well, I just, just didn't. And I know that's like, people like get so mad at me for doing it. I just what was like, do? I People take pills now where you don't bring in the milk. Yeah. There's no more shaming ever. Well, oh, my, oh, my nipples too, they were taken off for my breast implant. So they're like misplaced. They're like lopsided. Shut up. Yeah, no, seriously. People it. can go, like people saw it on my LinkedIn. It's like, oh my God, why are your nipples like lopsided? Teacher. <laughs> I know. For, wait, teacher. I mean, what, surgeon. What's your surgeon? <laughs> I want to get a boob job. I've unfortunately seen her titties so many times because she used to just tweet them at like 9 a.m. in the morning. Remember when she would send Ethan on Twitter like pussy pics? After all this is done, and you, know, like, you don't have one. To pick your person. Yeah, no, no, no. these are my originals. <laughs> oh, these are my OGs. Oh. I've been told my nipples are too small to breastfeed. Oh, which makes no sense. Yeah, but, that's um, weird. I know, but <laughs> it's a nipple. It, I just never like when I I pumped for three months because like the most I could pump out of my body yeah. for a whole day, a whole night was like one <sighs> serving, oh. and I was like. Cool. What's that gonna fucking do? So wow. then we would do formula, 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 magic bottle, and then formula, formula. Oh. 
with so much love, like so much love. Oh my god, J women are. I cannot stress it enough how incredible, um, they are, and the the process of having a, a child and a baby. But oh my god, this conversation is boring. <laughs> I mean it, it in the most respectful, respectful way, like really, really, really like. So much love, so many kisses. Whew. So boring. Uh, oh, wow. So you did combination. Like, yeah. Is this interesting for mothers here in the chat? Like people who are mothers or parents? Maybe it's just that I, I'm like not a mother. I'm, I'm mother mucker, but I'm not mother. Well, I am mother, but I'm not. <laughs> I could be like, fuck all that. I love, I know, I love having mom friends. Like, I never had, like, friends before. It's interesting to me. Here, I've had, like, all, all right. The topic, um, yeah. The topic, yes, not so much the gas. <laughs> My mom, no, it's not interesting. <laughs> Listen. There's another influencer. Oh, yeah. I think you know where Abby. I'm a mother, and no, this is not interesting to me. So all right, so we have a little bit of both, a little bit of that. Yeah. She was one of the reasons I booked my second one. Really? She was so brave and went yeah. out there. I was like, I'm doing it. I was like... What made you decide that? Like, <laughs> yeah. Tell me why. No, and it was. She it, knew someone who did a view back that like almost died. Yeah, because it like it's like it also like can you erupt like your I don't know this whole thing yeah, like your you uterus or like, yeah. Mm -hmm. so their friend just, that happened to them and then needed a blood transfusion or yeah. nightmare. Yeah, I was like C section. So this is do what we know. Yeah, honestly, we almost were gonna plan one at the. <laughs> I had no idea. No, I'm gonna have sisters and I just I'm waiting for them and I'm praying for them Ooh. because yeah, we're trying to keep it smaller each year. Yeah, um, don't want to have anyone okay. selling tickets. Yeah. To Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, did you want kids? You want long term relationship? Like if your ideal such like Dream Woman came, would you have long term relationship? Maybe. Yes, yes, definitely. I, I oh just my God, I forgot he was there. I forgot he was there. I don't know about the kids. I just I don't know. I don't know. Scary. I feel like if I meet someone and you know she inspires me, like if I'm like, oh, you'd be amazing, mom. I think I could be an okay dad. I don't really know. I don't have like, I mean, a career. Girl, like yeah. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Like, no, but in literally, next you have the best year. career. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, are you East Coast hates himself. You yeah. Know? Oh, I get it. I totally. I still feel that way. I still feel. I'm like obsessed with Megan Trainer holding her book to the camera this entire time. By the way. That's camp. Yeah, look. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's tough to like look around and go, oh, I'm doing great. Yeah. And, uh, right. Right. I mean, yeah. it, it is a great I'm setup. Like you saw my. Okay. People are saying the conversation is interesting. No, They're just not invested. Yeah. No, but Valid. that's like, I can't. And that's what everyone wants. I love the Kardashians. I keep talking about them, but they like live next to each other. You know what I mean? They all like live together. Like mm. Kylie lived. I think that's like the greatest thing. I think. And also where you guys live, like humble queen over here but like yeah. it's insane and i won't even say any much more but i'm like we gave her a tour i've never seen a house like this in my life ever really like, i've been to like castles and like czech republic and i've never seen like something so amazing Wait, I'm on even jojo siwa's house like i love her house it's like candy I everywhere her, yeah. but i mean this is like next level this is wow amazing. it's beautiful it's pretty chill over here. so happy yeah. no yeah why would We've you want to live anywhere for three years and we're over it oh, so it's, it's good to know it's worth it's worth wow she's really clenching that book isn't she she's making sure we see it Get your pre-orders in. I want in. You to know that we can take out anything. Not okay. to be scary. Okay. <laughs> um, we can take out anything you want. If okay. you're like, oh, I said this, and I shouldn't have said that. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, no, I'm okay. nervous. <laughs> you shouldn't be nervous. Okay, I'm not going to go. I know. I'll... Oh, 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 oh. I was wondering why we were getting a disclaimer. We're moving on. Yippee! Sorry, I just had to yawn off camera. Um, We're moving on. Megan Trainer has given... Uh, Disclaimer that anything can be cut out. So let's see where we'll go with this. All your history, and I'm not going to disrespect you. Okay, Ready? Fine. Oh. This morning, uh -oh. we all gathered for breakfast, and we watched you squirt. This episode is sponsored by Fidelity's Women Talk. Boo! Can we get some tomatoes in the chat? Can we get tomatoes in the chat for that, please? Boo! It was so, the most impressive okay, thing that I've so, ever seen. So Ryan said, he said, I've seen her squirt. And yeah. I was like, I, thought you I know. People say like, that to oh, me, too. So I know. No, but it, Thank you, chap. They're like, so you're not even that big. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to fucking slap At the end of the day, it's kind of a compliment. It, 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 it looks great. Jesus, she's really pushing that book down her throat, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. they mean it nice, but it is. Yeah. I mean, that's why Ariana does that whole thing, being yeah. like, don't comment on people's bodies, because right. it's yeah. so true. Like, no matter what, you, like, will offend someone, you, whatever. It's, yeah, you don't want people to lose weight. like, you look great. And I was like, okay, whatever. But, but I remember when All About Those came out, and I remember everyone 
in my head, I was thinking like, oh, a plus size girl. And I watch it back like I'm like, oh my god, she was like not even. But it's like a lot of people like Anna Nicole. I was, like, yeah, she isn't wasn't that crazy? When you watch it back, this is a good conversation about yeah. um, body and the perception that media has. Oh my god, smoking Pepsi. Thank you. The the media. I remember even whenever I watched like Victorious and stuff, and I look back on the big girls. You know that like the joke was that they were the big girls. And you look at them and it's like Trina Vega or who are the other ones? I can't think of them off the top of my head, but you know what I mean? Like we were like conditioned as young that like a normal body weight, actually quite thin, was like the to the token fat girl or something like that. So I think this is a good conversation about how, oh my God, everyone was like Megan Trainer, the big girl. She actually was just a normal weight. So I think this is a good conversation to have. I'll be honest. I'll get my water. I didn't know. Uh, I you know, it's the first time you've ever worn that. You're like, right. I yeah, wear, right. look at me. I wear hoodies in black. Right. I wear black on black. And they were like, how do you feel about pastel? And I was like, awesome. Oh, it and wasn't was, your idea. I thought no. it would be like, you're creative. No, I was fucking wow. just like, She was thrown into that machine. I had no she was manager. like 19 years old. You were 19. Me, and I was like, well, this is like a cartoon water. character, right? Like, and I'll never have to look like this. Right. <laughs> and then they put on the corset and I was dying and I've never oh. heard of this. And I was like, I just feel like this isn't about what I wrote, you know? Like, I feel yeah, like I'm not, a hypocrite, you know? Right. So, <laughs> That's it was true. fucking crazy. But you've always been good like that. Well, I forgot the name. Was it No? The one where they, like, photoshopped you? Like, my you name is like, No. no. Back me, to my too. Yeah. Yeah. me too. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Because I fucking you, check those I videos. I zoom in. Yeah. We all approved it. We were like, this looks great. Immediately when it came out, I was like, that's not the video I approved. What is this? But that's and amazing. I, and I, my first thought was like, why are my fans fucking photoshopping me? Like, I look ridiculous. It's not even real. Yeah, because it was screenshot. Yeah, I think this is a good conversation. Video and put it on Instagram. I was like, and she was looking at her tag photos. She's like, uh, Ryan, what the? Why I was do like, I look why like would this? they do it to me? I look skinnier than the dancers who have been dancers yeah. our whole life. Uh, so yeah, right. And then I saw, I went on YouTube and it was that. I remember video this. And I was like, bro, rip it down. Oh, and wow. then I'm in a hotel room and on the news. Because I went on Snapchat and was like, my team fucked up. Be right back. <laughs> and on the news, they're like, Megan Trainer rips down her video for photoshopping her. And I was like. Uh -uh. It was everywhere. It was so big, was but it was so cool. Uh -uh. Like, I just thought that's like, that's the best. I remember that. It was that they made her, it was like she was doing this move or something like that, right? And she's like shaking her hips, and they moved, they moved her body to be like this, like that. And it looked so unnatural as well. And she immediately called it out. That was a huge story. Do people remember that? That's yeah. like the message right there. Because yeah. Photoshop is cool, but also like, we don't need it. Maybe I like Photoshop, like, when I had um, Spanx and I was doing um, a photo shoot for the cover of something, I said, hey, guys, my Spanx are fully out of this skirt. Like, you could see them. And they're like, we'll get it in post. Right on the cover, Spanx everywhere. Oh, I can look like, for that. Okay. You can <laughs> Photoshop that out. They were like, we're sorry. I was like, fuck you guys. I'm yeah. Sorry. And I just know. I'm like, okay, I don't trust anyone. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's crazy. But you've always been your jobs dude are all men yeah, yeah men 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 straight fucking men yes and they're like we got the lighting already i'm gonna go the way she's sitting with one right now <laughs> but it's okay because they're brother dark room i'm like my boys i know have you seen the kardashian chat yeah i know I need some fucking light <laughs> this is kardashian status i feel like we're blurred out yes, <laughs> like, i love it I was like, I wanna... trisha girly your skincare video is photoshopped also true. That's what I want so, lighting, that's why i wrote mother too because i was so <sighs> angry still 10 years almost <gasps> Of being like, can you please put on a light uh, here and here? And, and they're like, yo. And also, because Mother's big in the, the gay community, which is where you got your TikTok audience, and you knew they would eat it up. I am your mother. You listen to me. Yes. I'm like, oh, my God, it's moving to you. That's going to be good. I forgot you had Chris Jenner. We were just talking about how Chris oh. you're seeing Chris and stuff. Yeah, like that. that's why I went to the house. You are so, like, how are you so connected? I get, like, you're a superstar, but, like, Britney Spears, I would, well, well, um, <laughs> Oh, I've seen this clip. So Megan Trainer still has Lou Taylor, Luc Lucifer Taylor, on her team. Lou Taylor, the one who, Lou Taylor as in Lou Taylor, Britney Spears. If you know, if you know, you know. And immediately, people, she shuts down Trisha bringing up Britney Spears because people have been asking Megan Trainer like, why are you still working with someone who tried to ruin Britney Spears' life? And stole so much money. So connected. I get like watch, you're a superstar, watch. but like Britney Spears, I would. Well, well, um, <laughs> just kidding. Um, I'm like, is that real? No, I'm not allowed to say that anymore. I've never. Okay. They're like, doing that joke. Oh. Um, okay. <laughs> no. I'm like, ooh, how awkward. Okay, well, then they can't ask Trisha anything. 
let me stand up for my Trishy Fishy here. If you're not going to talk about that, don't ask Trisha about any drama if we ever get to that. How awkward. My, I have really good management. <laughs> Like a lot oh, of you know, sure. everyone in our industry is like, I fucking hate my managers. Yeah. I have the best. Because oh. they're, they're using all Britney's money. Yeah, like, they're friends with the Kardashians. So I was like, do you think that we could ask Auntie Quiz uh. if she would do it? That's where and it I was at. like, I know she'll yeah. say no, but like, the, I was, I taught, I was I learned, your mother. I was taught this year, the worst thing you can do is ask and just yeah. always ask. Because what if they say yes? And that's why we finally asked you. I love that. I was like, you're going to say yes. <laughs> Myself. No, oh my god, I'm actually the, I'm the opposite. Do I get feel fear rejection. I don't like to ask. Right, anything. book it, do it, yeah. ask. You might, never. they might say yes. I never. Can. Do you <laughs> remember when I DM'd you 18 years ago? Wait, it's so funny. Oh okay, god. I remember you DM'd me one time, and I DM'd you back, and I never heard back because you wanted to like go get our nails done in like Hollywood or something. Is that what you're talking uh, about? Well, no. I just told or maybe you. It wasn't. I said <laughs> no. I did say like I said like I just love how honest you are online, and I love. Oh, I think you were like in the middle of getting hate for something and I was like, dude, I fucking love you and how honest you are and I just love your content. In the middle of like what? The racism, the Trump, the like, what one was it, Megan? Um, I think that's crazy. I mean, at least Megan Trainer's being honest about um, like not just someone who's like, oh, I'm going to have Trisha on the podcast and pretend to like her. I mean, she apparently very much so likes her. I appreciate someone being honest rather than lying. And, oh, um, I just, like, I adore you. And you were like, thanks, girl, you're amazing. Blah, blah, blah. And oh, maybe I invited like, you to hang out. I never heard from you again. Maybe, maybe was, I, was like, I think I was like, let's hang out sometime. And, and oh, maybe that was it, yeah. I was so excited. No, I, you were like the first, like, female celebrity to, like, DM me, you know? I was, like, really? so excited. Wow. Yeah. I have, like, you and, like, Brittany and, like, I don't even know anyone else. Maybe Pamela Anderson, too. I was, like, maybe, I was, like, so excited. I was, like, oh, my God, I can't believe. Because, you know, when you, like, are on the internet, right, and, like, traditional media stars. Like, when did Britney Spears message Trisha Paytas? When did Pamela Anderson message her? You're like, oh my god, this is so crazy. Like, traditional people, like, watch YouTube, you know what I mean? Now YouTube's gone down the hill, but oh, it's I, always... Yeah. I stalk you, bitch. Right? YouTube's gone down the hill. Isn't this a podcast filming for YouTube? Trisha, just say that no one's watching. You. I Wait, wait, we have so many questions. Okay, I okay. have... Like I love you. What, man, I love you so much. You don't tag when you're doing an Arby's thing. Yeah, what's with the cosplay? Him? AKA, they're not paying you to do it. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, Are well, they? No, no, the opposite. Wow. The opposite. So I had. Oh, I don't. Even, well, anyway, there was like this crazy hate page of me that was like obsessively like everybody I would tag. They just go and be like, this person is. Hmm. What's the page called? Anyone know? Does it rhyme with Michiland or Michiland Myfies? <laughs> racist homophobic like they would just like oh, do wow. this Fuck. like yeah they would like do spam accounts of like 50 100 people so the companies would actually like take down the trisha said that the page called her out for being racist and homophobic and megan trainer goes what the fuck yeah megan that's so crazy to imagine someone being called out for being racist and homophobic oh my god hey, what the fuck? shut up <laughs> don't piss me off they would post my videos and then take them down because they thought like, yeah. oh, who's this person? She's this awful person. So I stopped tagging people in general. So now I maybe I'm not saying you are not, but maybe you just were an awful person and that's okay. Even John would do something like a that people can call you out. Not that you were an awful person. I'm not endorsing her being an awful person. For context, finally, forty minutes into the podcast, things are spicing up. <laughs> gift card like a visor and yeah. I was like, okay, let me put it on and they got so much hate from these like this like, oh, hate group the but then i had my tiktok people go and say could you please love on john medusa's account because like, all whatever. you're doing is saying how amazing they are right right and yeah. eating their fucking food that I, and going in and filming the employees during their shifts and stuff and then making hundreds of thousands of dollars on the videos in which the workers are making minimum wage and they're just like get out of here woman no wow. it was it was it's better now it's so much better now but like there was a time where i was like okay i shouldn't take these companies. but you know what no but now they're all cool like wendy sent I me mean, some stuff for free honestly i'll do it for like a free gift card i was like okay yeah you know what i mean because love- <laughs> she's real for that actually though no. Love you, watching fucking, you love that shit. Yeah, like, you I just love, love it. Weddies or love, I love uh, it. What you should be in the commercials. Yes. Oh, their canes? canes. Yeah, Canes let me just come in. And, They're like, great. Yeah, they were great. They Hold on, I'm really quickly going to go one grab one my phone. I can still hear it. Or my yeah, charger. Dude. I would love fucking one day, genius. but I don't know because of the squirting videos, I don't think I can do both. No, I don't think it matters. I think so. Well, on this podcast, I am foul. And like, I'll be on the Today Show and they're like, I'm I'm so glad that the second I walked out, I missed that thing about the squirting. Um, honestly, I'm very, very, very happy about it. All's well and ends well. I don't want to hear about her squirting. Podcast with your brother. And I'm like, yeah. it's rated R. But like, and, don't and you're on a specific there. side where it's 18 plus. Like, there's yeah. a lot of steps that goes in it. Your kid is like... YouTube is 18 plus? Mama, YouTube don't even like us saying shit. 
Oh, you're talking about OnlyFans. Oh, they're right, actually. Sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad. I look Somehow to gets like a credit card and gets on there. fucking wifey mom that yeah. I, I love. <gasps> Don't I say know. wifey! Trisha, not wifey! <laughs> Trisha gets triggered. <laughs> my phone charm. So cute. Yeah. Work forever. And I love it. Oh, I, I've always loved making money because I'm a tourist. So I just, like, love making money. Because like, you, I still post on YouTube every day, even though, like, YouTube was, like, going you're downhill. You're constantly I just going. Love How many fucking times is she going to say YouTube is going downhill? Mama! YouTube is actually more thriving now than what it has in years prior because of long-form content surpassing everything. I think they're just having this podcast to kiss ass, possibly. Love it. I what love does your it. calendar look like? Um, it, uh, it's, like, not that busy. because I. What usually... does your calendar look like? Um, 12, a, or 12 p.m. Starbucks. 1 p.m. Wendy's drive Three. 2 to 6 p.m. Sit in car alone and not look after Mal. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 2 to 6, look after Malby. 6 to, you know, look after Malby. It's just a little joke. It's just a little joke. Something like this, I'm like always really excited. I Is it like the on day. the go? You're like, I'm just going to do this? Or do you plan it yeah, out? Yeah, I mean, that's such a good point. Like, if you're so persistent that the social media is dead, why are you trying so hard posting every single day then? <clears throat> um, like my like content. Yeah. Oh, just like on the go because I don't do anything. But when I get, like collab with people like TikTok, no, you go to Starbucks. Don't, don't put yourself down, Trish. You go to Starbucks every day. It's fine. So like TikTok's been like that. So it's pretty cool. I'm like I've met some cool people off there, and it's like yeah, I just do it on the like fly. I'm not busy at all, really. I mean, with my baby, of course. But other than that, <laughs> she just had to remember that she had her. <laughs> I'm not busy at all. I do nothing. Oh, sorry. I look out for my baby. So great. And then you'll yeah. get like 40 TikToks. It's so Yeah, really yeah, amazing. I know. Yeah. And when I left, I was like, did you get some TikToks before? And I was like, I, I don't know. Like, I didn't. I was like nervous. And so I was like, it's really do it. things. I try and get the most. Like, every time I have Glam on my team's like, what about a TikTok? And I'm like, <laughs> you're like, I'm tired. Yeah. Well, you like, are like done. hustling. I think the difference too is like, you're like, you have a talent. I feel when someone has a talent, you, you get away with more. You have a talent. Shut your mouth. Yeah, you have so many talents. Talent. I'm like, what's oh, happening with my TikTok? Yeah, hold on. What was Oh, the book's coming out. TikTok is I'm seeing like, they're like Trisha Paytas has lived a hundred lives. Like now it's you, like in Eminem's music video. Yeah. Like all these are Bitch. resurfacing that I didn't realize it was you. I'm like, oh my. I was like, God. you didn't know that, bro. I've known. I'm so, so out of the loop. Like, well, you, you were probably so young. How how much younger? Are you? You're thirty. You I'm thirty. So you're five years younger, and you're younger. You're twenty nine. Twenty nine. Yeah. Or a year and five days apart. Oh, you're you're younger. Megan Trainer does not give me twenty nine. Megan Trainer gives me thirty nine. She doesn't look old or anything like that. And thirty nine isn't old. I just feel that like. I've known her far too long for her only to be 29. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm, I'm younger. <laughs> oh. Everyone fucking says that. It's fine. No, I know. It's I know, because I know. I'm more successful. It's fine. Yeah, 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 she has her shit together. I totally <laughs> it makes get it. So, okay. Th- oh, so you're in the middle. Right? I'm like a white yeah. baby or two. So you're 20. Oh, yeah. So you guys are. Oh, my God. Like, really. We're Irish like, twins. Five oh, days apart. I didn't try to, Oh, wow. I love. I wanted to do that with mine. We were trying to get pregnant so quick right away, you know, to do the, like, being close in age because it's cool. It's the greatest name ever. Yeah, how did you do that? Because I was so worried. I was like, it's going to be amazing, but, like, what if she botches it? Like, what if, <laughs> what if it's too fucking crazy? Crazy. And you nailed it. Thank you. I'm not gassing you up. Like, Thank you fucking you. nailed it. Yeah, I've always had good baby names. And yeah. I've always had Malibu at Barbie since I was, like, a 10-year-old. Like, that was could, always my she name. She could be Malibu. She could be Barbie. She yeah. could be Barb. She could be Mal. Oh, I love Well, I always wanted Barbie. Boo. Right. I liked Barbie, but it was kind of like an older name. And then to, yeah. like, convince my husband, he liked Malibu because he, like, is ocean and all that stuff oh, like that. So like, he's, he's water. Water. Right, exactly. He doesn't have like middle names, so he didn't care. He's like, "Oh, we don't have middle names in Israel." Oh, so I was like, "Perfect, we'll just throw in Barbie there." <laughs> so so he likes it. Now he loves it. it. When he introduces her, he says, "This is Malibu Barbie," and I was like, "Okay, you don't say that." I would hope so. That's her name. So, so sick, though. Yeah. No, I hate best. naming my kids. Oh my god, he's so nice. He's such a good dad. He calls her by her name. Uh, for a girl, I won't boy. feel it. For a girl. <gasps> Uh, oh, girl. <laughs> My girl name sucks. It was like Millie. Okay, girl I names know. are actually really hard. We Shout out to all the Millies. I have to, look at, I have to look, at my, look at my phone. I have a whole list. I liked Sugar Cookie. Wow, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> I like that one. Trust me, I would name my next one that, but my sugar husband is not so about good. it. Sugar is so cute. And I have this, like, uh, there's a, one of my friends. Like do you know the sugar and spice on TikTok? The drag yes, queen I voice? Love. Yeah. So I got to meet him, and so I was just like, oh my God, your name's Sugar. That's so cool. So I thought Sugar Cookie's such a cute name, but yeah. It's so good. Of course, Wednesday. It's popular now, but I like the name Wednesday. Sugar cookie. Every day I thank Jesus Christ that I was not born in Hollywood. 
to say. It's like a girl. Yeah, but enough. Rupert Grant, I think the boy from Harry Potter named his daughter Wednesday, so it's not as unique as I thought. Oh. Like, oh, yeah. Ruined. <laughs> yeah, I like how, like, the unique, unique names, but yeah, unique. there's so many. Good. I, like, I like so many. I like oh. names that I don't know anyone with that name. Right. Like. Renesmee from Twilight, I thought was so pretty. The little oh. baby from Twilight. Anyways, he the like actual baby, he didn't watch it. He's he straight. Did. I told I don't you. Know, I don't know Twilight. <laughs> but Twilight's so good. We just Twilight's watched it so for the first good. time, like a m- couple months ago. When I was pregnant, we watched to it. To the point where I almost wish you were still on drugs, so I could be like, get really high <laughs> and let's watch this alive. It's, it's crazy. It's so good. It's oh, my so good. <laughs> oh my god! I know like a couple people in my life who are like alcoholics, and I like, I would never feel comfortable making jokes like that with them. <laughs> Oh my god! Sounds okay. deep. Uh, I like scary. Yeah, movie. it's kind of a. Kind no, of a, I can't do scary. Scary's great. Oh, you know what? My vibe is Cocaine Bear. That movie was amazing. What Love is that? Cocaine it's Bear. A new one. She doesn't know. What I don't know anything. Yeah. I know. I'm so bad. New with movie. Me. Bear high on cocaine, eating people. It's, it's real. It's, it's like a comedy. Yeah, my mom told me to watch that. I need to watch that, mom, if you're like, still here. Like I'm getting theaters. ads on TikTok. Like, I'm yeah, honestly, that, the yeah. Cocaine Bear trailer popped up on my TikTok. Yeah, I get. I got the TikToks where it's like. A T A twenty four just announced a yeah. new scary movie coming out. And I'm like, yeah. oh fuck yeah! Oh, interesting. I'm not on that. Like, the only movie I knew that came out in the last like three years, like Elvis. I'm like, oh, go watch it. Yeah, yeah. Send you I still need to watch Elvis. Please do. My mom said I loved the okay, Cocaine Bear. Yeah, apparently it was good. Back and forth with TikTok. Yeah. So, like, watch this. And sometimes they're like not funny. Sometimes they are. But I'm always like, ha But I love it. I I'm obsessed with TikTok and so. Like, Where's it on Netflix? No, I have to make sure they're elite when I send it to him. Oh my gosh, that's so much pressure though. I can never send one back because I'd be like, yours are always gonna hit. Yours are always gonna win. I'm like, that's true. Do you delete yours if they don't do well because i know that's like a trend no. now no no chris Olsen either. taught me we just take the l just let it ride yeah yeah because i know take I, the l and you'll and come eventually back one of yours will pop off and then they go and back they go to back it, back. it has and then it yeah gets yeah i always just chris yeah. is like it's an l for a day and that's fine but chris's yeah. l is like 10 million views he's like it's, <laughs> <an> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like half a mil he's like that's okay yeah, it's fine. Fine. So no, many his views. is crazy yeah his is crazy he he's must have so a man i never had a manager so i always think oh these people must have because he's not everywhere oh yeah he has a manager technically but he like does everything himself really fucking yeah he's like this is the Chris guy I was talking to you about, um, who's like always on fucking TikTok, and he's so annoying. He's like he's only annoying because like you cannot escape him. Oh, to like the Cannes Film Festival, he must have someone. I'm like, like, let me see him like a tasteful of mine. Oh, just, yeah. Actually, he just no. hired a publicist. Yeah, I got him one. Yeah, he, he had, had one. one. He had one. Oh. I got one. Well, he doesn't even oh. need one. He has you. You're like the publicist. For I him. drag him to a bunch of shit, but also he'll he'll get invited too. Like, oh yeah, because you know the wear. Oscars are bringing TikTokers. Yes. There? Yeah, so he'll be on those. I've lists. been on social media for 16 years. I've never been invited to any of that stuff. Not that they, I would go. I'm not invited. I don't fucking know. Really? Yeah, no. He's not. He got invited to a fucking fashion show in Paris. Never been invited. Really? Never been invited. That's so crazy. But they seem yeah. too scary. They seem too intense. Like, yeah. It's a whole, like, A thing. lot of people. She's like, what do you mean I thrive? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I, people scare me. And, like, to go to an Oscars, if I'd be like, no, they're like, maybe you, impossible. You're born- Trisha Paytas at the Oscars, when? I would love to see it. Going for that carpet. No, I'm going to opposite. interview. I mean, to interview, yeah. you would Stars. just be so good. Oh, interview. I would, I would live for that. Okay. But I don't know. I'd probably be nervous. I don't know. I'm actually like a nervous wreck. I've never done anything professional. Like I've just been on YouTube. You've been on a music video. You've been with on, Eminem. yeah, 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 yeah. You, <laughs> like when I was twenty. You're a modern family. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch, it don't matter when. I'm like I performed at the Grammys. It was like for Lionel Richie and a group of a bunch of other performers. Wait, that's the for, like, only time. Five minutes. Yeah, but don't, but you won my Grammys. Done I'm like, mm. wait, what? Yeah, I dude, I've done. You guys, this is so boring. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. I'm really struggling to watch this. <sighs> Can we give up? Can we give up? I'm like serious. I'm like, it's the only ever time in doing one of these videos where I'm like, I'm actually going to give up. It's really fucking boring. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Look, what I look what I said to my mom. Literally to like, I literally texted my mom this. I'm literally about to stop watching. It's the only time ever, ever in doing this. And I've watched like Jeffrey podcasts and stuff. Okay, welcome back. So we took a day or two off from, no, 
not just not from streaming, not from uploading, because I was doing that within the time. Um, but we took a couple days off because this podcast was really boring. Um, so I got around 47, 48 minutes into this, and speaking full transparency with you, that entire section you just watched, if you're watching this on YouTube, around the last 15 minutes of it, I literally could not even add anything interesting to the conversation because it was that boring. Um, so that's a problem because I'm trying to add, you know, good, you know, commentary and stuff like that. But like what I said was the podcast just really was not doing it for me. It really wasn't interesting. It really wasn't giving anything at all. And the part that I stopped on, however, was why did my Nana just send me a friend request on Facebook? Has my Nana been hacked? Hold on. My like Nana has added me on Facebook. And whenever I look at it, it's all like spam like posts. Mom, if you're watching this, has Nana been hacked? What hacker is hacking my per Nana? What has she done? Who has the ability to hack someone and goes, mm, an old elderly woman's Facebook. She relies on that Facebook for her scrapple. Anyway, um, mom, is that Nana? I don't even know if you're seeing this, but has, 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 has Mima been hacked? Um, anyway, so I watched it and I, I literally had to take a break because it was so excruciatingly boring. Getting back into it, however, because I'll ring her. Please do, mom, because I just got a friend request from her name, but it could be her, or I don't know if it's someone, um, creating a new profile for her. If it is her, then let me know in the, ch thanks, sorry, <laughs> just a little family moment there. Um, so anyway, um, we're back on. The part that we stopped right before, oh my god, Aaron, thank you, um, was before they start talking about the teachers and stuff, which I have uploaded a YouTube video on because I wanted to get to it first. However, we're not going to watch the entire duration, so we have like 30 minutes left. Baby, we're in this together. I, I know it's appearing very boring. And you know what's so funny? How boring Trisha and Megan are in this podcast. Still, somehow they managed to get cancelled on it. <laughs> All right. And I, because she's so fucking famous. And she was like, oh, like I forgot to say right heads now. up. Like, you will get more hate. Oh, um, but interesting. That's so weird. Because she's so famous. But they have so many successful. fans. They have so many fans. I, I know, I know. Um, Hate's louder than more good. Yeah. 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 But I saw, like, one video. Are we talking about the Kardashians? Made on my For You page, mm. my safe place, um, that he made with the mother sound and explained how I only write songs. Like, I'm not creative. I only write for TikTok. And I... I said this in my previous thing. I genuinely believe Megan Trainer writes music for TikTok. Is that the worst thing in the world? No, it's a smart business thing. But if you're going to nice sit here and be like, sorry, I'm just like pissed off at Megan Trainer and I am like not a Megan Trainer fan anymore. Um, the way that like she's and I being like, oh, people are accusing me of making music for TikTok. Sorry, I'm nitpicking, but yeah, you do. I am your mother. You listen to me. Bum, 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 bum. Like that lipped. That's a song for TikTok. You went viral. Congratulations. But you don't need to like. And I, it was just like oh garbage and blah, blah, blah. And I, and I was sobbing oh, in bed. What? Really? Oh, and my husband was like, is this real? And I was like. Uh, well, I'm pregnant, but it just hurts when you work really hard Aww. on something and then they fucking trash it. In, in the, and then he was like, this guy? Right. You yeah. And when I you write like, all these songs for different people and like they're all hits and smashes. The best and... thing we heard from Andrew Santino yeah. is that they're just ghosts. Yeah. He yeah. calls them they ghosts. Yeah. Because I hate it when people are like, they're just sad about their lives. They're in their mom's basement and they're like trolls. And I'm yeah. like, Oh, they're still getting me, but if I yeah. think of them as ghosts, I'm like, oh, they're dead. Right. Yeah, they don't even. Well, it's true. Yeah, if you, I think you'll. What an amazing way, and I can't wait to hear Trisha talk about Reddit probably, but no, I love whenever people have this opinion of like haters or like, you know, just like blank out every hater and stuff like that. I mean, here's the thing like, they're ruining my hype. Bye, muckers. Bye. <laughs> I just think that's such an interesting thing to say that like anyone who's going to give you hate or criticism are just like dead people, like they're just ghosts and stuff like that. Nana's been hacked. Well, I'm glad I caught it. I don't know why they're stupid enough to add me on Facebook, Mom. Who is hacking my fucking Nana? Mom, I know who it was. <laughs> no. Um, that's so weird. They haven't hacked my Nana, but they've created another account. Like, a new Facebook profile with my Nana's name and my Nana's profile picture and cover. Well, mom, I don't want to freak Nana out because Nana won't get it, but I will sort it out after. I'll get um, I'll get one of my friends to reach out to their um, their uh, Facebook's press people to take it down. 
Um, anyway, that's annoying. Sorry, Nana. <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah, like, whenever you think of, like, haters, it's just, like, oh, they're dead people and they don't matter and stuff like that. You can disagree with me and you can absolutely despise me and stuff. I still kind of want to hear what your opinion is. This full thing of, like, I take no criticism and stuff like that. I'm like, <sighs> if someone's saying that your music's shit, Megan, maybe listen to them. Don't pay attention to it. It really doesn't exist because it's, like, I'm paying attention to it so much. And then all of a sudden... R.I.P. not a mucker. <laughs> Identity theft is not a joke. Yeah, it is not. It really isn't. My per nana... My per 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 nana. Documentary on it. I was like emailing Reddit, whatever. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna stop doing. It. I'm just gonna sorry. Stop I did have the notifications on. I've I've turned them off again. Um, sorry about that noise. I thought I turned it off. Um, I've disabled it now for the rest of the stream. Paying attention to it. And as seriously, like in the past week, they were like all taken down, and they were all like, wow. and as, as soon as a new one came up, another one was taken down. So I'm like, someone over there, thank God. And they were like, it wasn't me just complaining about haters. They were like harassing. And they were. Is she talking about Reddit? Up, which was like awful. Again. It was just like that part of stuff I like couldn't take. They were like doxing like my daughter's pediatrician and like our hospital. Not the story of them doxing Malibu. Whatever the fuck that means. And like, Holy shit. Yeah, they were being crazy. So I was just like, okay, let me do something about it. And, and it worked. But yeah, it sucks. But I don't think you could get hate for anything. It's so funny. Like, Of all things they hate you on, they can't say, like, you're not, like, creative or talented. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, oh, that's the one thing I do like to do. <laughs> yeah, that's like, okay, that's like, weird. Shit on my looks. Don't shit on this. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. No, and I have a lot of things for people to shit on in my past. But it's like, you know, I try to move forward. I try to be the change. You know what I mean? And you still get, like, stuff from, like, 10 years ago, which I get. Trisha Paytas wants to be the change. Okay. Okay. I mean, I've been like, you know, I was a troll and I was crazy or whatever, but you know, I was on I a lot of drugs. <laughs> I'm sober now too of drugs. I'm just like, yeah. okay. And drink. I never really drank, but I was heavy on pills. Even after my C-section, I didn't take any because I was just like, I don't want to yeah, get did addicted. You? I yeah, just took like Tylenol. Yeah. It wasn't that bad. But yeah. if I missed that Tylenol, I was like, I need the hospital. I didn't even take that. I didn't take Tylenol or anything. Yeah. I had the fentanyl in the hospital because they kind of just gave it to me. I didn't really yeah. know, which I was like thankful for because I was like, eh, you know, but um, afterwards, yeah, I didn't take any of the pain pills, but it, it really? hurt like, it hurt so You bad. just took like a Tylenol? Not even Tylenol. Because I, I, I was in so much pain. I was like dying, but oh, I was, definitely uh, do time. Bro. Yeah, I didn't know. It was, no, it but... was like two days after, and they're like, um, I, I was, I'm so scared of the heavy drugs because yeah. like, it's like you, you, you're like, oh, I have to think about how to breathe, you know? Yeah. Moment. What did I miss, y'all? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I mean, so I, I saw the fentanyl's actually Roxy, normal to take. Like, oh, that can't be a heavy this drug. This kind of oh. setting, I'm and pretty sure. Sarah was like. That's, that's the funnest one. So I was like, <laughs> I'm so hot. <laughs> oh, do you take it? Yeah, because I was like, oh, I'll take the Roxy instead of the, Roxy. the hydrocodone or whatever. And I was like, that sounds like a slight one. It's fun. Okay, I mean, that was so I fun. I was like, oh, babe, I fucked up. I'm done. Like, it's I, scary. I don't have fun on those. Yeah, I, I used panic. to love them. I mean, those I used to do all the time. Like, that's you my know favorite. what Roxy's yeah. are? If yeah. I said that, oh, I feel like a loser. I was like, no, oh, no. my God. You're good. You're good. It's but bad. people are doing ketamine now. Now, little high, little tiny doses for anxiety, depression, mm. OCD, yeah. inflammation. I so used to snort. People are doing cat, people are doing cat for OCD and stuff. Work. That's crazy. <laughs> for the horse stuff. Fun. Oh, oh, they have like a nurse do it with yeah. you. My, my brother did it oh, for really? Oh my God. Yeah, you should hear about this. I might love like it. Fentanyl, I guess it's like you it's, should it's try fentanyl. it. You'll love it. I love this conversation of um, just telling people to do drugs. Perfect. Tiniest dose. You do it in the hospital. My little brother oh. went for like chronic pain. Interesting. Not, he did everything for like two years. Nothing helped. But when he started doing this. It's like night and day. Wow. And now my husband's considering it for depression. Interesting. Yeah, for like dark that. thoughts that like repeat. Mm. He's like, I just want those dark thoughts to stop. And so he's considering doing that. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I, pe I think people did it. Did they do it with like Molly? Like, yeah. Like, yeah, people yeah, did it together. Like, like, yeah. That stuff. yeah, and it does take I've, you. I've been told by like my therapist and doctors, like, you should try the ketamine things. Yeah. And I was like, okay. It was good. I was always scared. scared. I knew someone who like died of like, they were in a K-hole and died. And so like, I always got scared yeah. of that. But I used to do, I used to do it. Like, I did it for like he was drugged it. into a K-hole. Oh. On accident. Was it bad? It's robbed. a lot of fun. I was like, oh. I was getting robbed and I was just like laughing because I, I was in a K-hole. Oh I was like, please stop. Oh my God. I'm like very safe because it was in London. Like terrible things could happen. That was his first I, rock wow. bottom. Yeah, I'm at dinner. I'm like, all right, guys, I think this is He literally wrap. sat me and my mom down and was like, we should wrap this up. And I was like, get a glass of wine. She was like, get on. Have a glass of wine. <laughs> shake it off. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You were drugged. You didn't take the drug on purpose. So you, yeah. you, you knew you had it in you? I, I knew because I've had taken ketamine before, but I, I this is so weird. Megan Trainer sitting with her 
um, brother who struggles with substances, and she's like, oh, just get more wine. It will balance you out. I know you were drugged, but, like, you didn't technically take it. This podcast awful. I didn't. Awful. I, didn't I don't. I don't remember signing up for that experience. And I feel like, like I was talking to some girl. Next thing I know, I'm just getting robbed by five dudes for my shit. Like woke up in an and, alley. Oh yeah. My and God. like, it, I was like, oh, I'm in a K hole, and I'm just coming to, and these guys are just robbing me. And you then, were drinking on it. Is that I, why? I, I think they put and it in my shirts. drink. I think they put it on my drink, or like. Oh. But at the end of the day, I'm like, I don't know if I was just like, yeah, I'll do some of that. Like, like I, I don't know. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah. I wake up in an alley. I'm like, fuck, that wasn't a dream. Oh, oh. no. My mom's going to be so upset with me. <laughs> oh, and God. I go, like, she had, we had work the next day. I go to work. I go to the hotel. Wow. I'm like, oh, guys, I got robbed. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. You are functioning. That's amazing. Was That's oh, I would show up so banged up. I was just like, you're doing great, bro. And yeah. Like, yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, and you, like, look like you probably just didn't look like it. You know, because people always said that to me, too. Like, you don't look like you're on drugs. I'm like, why? Well, yeah, you know, never like, in your past. I never would have. Podcast. Yeah, I think I heard the story of you driving into an ex's house. Yeah. Ah, oh my god, the Jason Nash story. The Jason Nash story, y'all. Remember, I said at the start of the podcast, I I knew Megan Trainer wanted to ask Trisha about this. Be- who was there? Well, I mean, if you're watching this on YouTube, you saw the entire thing. But if anyone was here during my original stream, I said that Megan Trainer wanted to ask Trisha about the Jason Nash story. That's why they brought up sobriety and drugs and stuff at the start of it. And everyone was like, no, here you go. That's what she wanted. She wanted to talk about this because it's a controversial story. And I was like, no shot. And, but you said it. Yeah. Like, oh, but sure. also, can I clarify that story? Because right yeah. now that I'm in my sober mind, I'm kind of like, what if there be like a police reform picture? Because people told me that. That's why I also oh. was. Oh, they told you that? Yeah. I was like, ah, I was so Yeah, there would news. be a police report. Okay. Right. So, so interesting because Trisha goes back and forth in this story so often. I did drive into his house. I didn't. I did take math. I didn't take, like, girl. I'm sure that doesn't, like, fit, like, her new mommy image or whatever, so that's why she's, you know, taking it back, but... It would be, the fucking it would be documented. Right. Right. into a house? That's what I'm saying. I know I... I know you I... never saw a house with damage. No. And wouldn't that be pictures and stuff? And so that story spiraled. That's... She's the one that told the internet that she did it, though. Like, she's acting as if, like, we started the story. She's the one that started it. Thus, that person told that story, and so I'm like, well, I guess that happened because he would, he didn't, he was never a liar. So I'm like, I guess that happened. But like, yeah. Can I tell you, I saw him at yeah. a party, and I ignored him. Oh, <laughs> we love like, that. Oh my god, you were like, we were like besties before we were besties. Yeah. So like, I can't, I can't. I like, it's too much. Yeah. It- what well, is this, Jason Nash? We're talking about. Good on you, Megan Trainer. You uh, avoided Jason Nash at a party. Mm, I'm so you know what and I'm so happy when you find the right guy and you're like oh those toxic relationships because like oh it was God, toxic both ways opening. you know people always say I'm the I was toxic for sure but um it was both ways you know yeah for but sure I'm so it's... happy I'm so happy now yeah yeah, yeah. yeah it's, so it's uh, also the whole world that is yeah yeah I, that whole world that Trisha Paytas was one of the pioneers in creating which is that drama obsessed world but you're it's in a such lot. a great place and it's amazing to uh. see kind of that transformation you're just like such a great mom and Thanks. great wife and i don't I know love i love, it. I love, I love being a mom it's like so much fun. i have like so much fun. someone told me that they gave me the best compliment they're just like you just like make moms look like look like you could have a fun time I'm like i do i have so much fun because it's like playing dress up with her now yeah. 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 It's, it's a lot of Dude. work playing dress up and avoiding her by going to the starbucks drive through yes being a mom so much fun trish her? They were like, your life ends when you have a kid. I was like, mine has just begun. No, I know. I felt like mine opened everything up too. Everything gets better. It's so fun. You can experience better. everything new with them. And also, like, right? I, my social Everything's so much better, right, Trish? The views, the amount of content, the dress-up potential. <clears throat> my goodness. Society's like gone to the point where it's like if I have to make friends for her, you know, I'm like, I love it. You know, we've been going to like play dates and stuff. Oh, and yeah. When you join the other mom. Oh, it's like. So great. We go to the country club for like an Easter egg hunt. My daughter can't even walk, but we're like moving I'm her around like wind, people. And it's like, I'm in the it's... water, watching the chemtrails over the country club. Anyone know that Lana Del Rey song? Y'all might be out there checking out my gorgeous sweater. It looks great. Then the... How many fucking sponsorships? If there's a girl. No, oh, now? No. Yeah, like for, no, for change like. It. for Change it. No, for, for the next pregnancy. I'm like, can we oh. just be like. He, all he has to do is come in a cup, and then we just go through the sperm yeah. and pick the girl. I think they can. No, you have to do the full IVF. What does that mean? I'm not really sure. So like, you have to do, like, a full, like... Didn't Trisha do IVF? Like, pump 
pump yourself with meds, do the transfer of the eggs, make it an embryo with his sperm, and then do surgery and put it back in you. Oh, you know? And oh, like, I see. Yeah. Oh, I just kind of wanted like a little trick. Like yeah. a little. <laughs> that's, and that sounds like, like a lot. little turkey baser, put yeah. it in me. You know? But it would be worth it if you really want a girl. Like for me, I'm like, I'd be happy with all girls. I'm like, yes, let's have. Because I feel like boys, I love them, but I just feel like they, everyone tells me there's so much more work than girls. And I'm really? Like, okay, yeah, the people we've met. I mean, definitely more work than just putting it in a pretty dress for an Instagram picture, Trish. Ugh. I'm not even trying to be rude, but just the way that, like, Trisha speaks about Malibu is, like, so disconnected. And I'm not even saying that to be rude, but, like, what mother do you hear who, when they're asked about how much they love her, only say things like, oh, we play dress up. Or, you know, I love, you know, playing dress. Like, I, I can't even think of anything else she says in complimenting Malibu. That or, like, the only two things I've ever heard Trisha say she does with Malibu are playing dress up or taking a nap. I don't know. Mine's Easy Angel. Well, and she... I've heard, like, the girls were like... I've heard the opposite. Oh, I'm really? Yeah. Oh, because yeah. oh, he's yeah, well, Especially emotionally sweet. when they... He, he's a shy, sweet boy. Yeah. And some of the girls in my home group were like, whoa! Oh, and bro. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> You know, they're like, yeah, play. She's, I'm like she's, she's very just like, mm, you know, like looks like you just very dainty. So I don't know. A boy, I just also like changing diapers of a boy sounds like so complicated. At first, like with they the circumcision and yeah. that, they oh. keep this on my wall. That was about it. I would be terrified. Yeah. I don't think I could. I can't wait for Trisha to know she's having a baby boy soon. And then all of these clips resurface of her saying that she doesn't want to have a baby boy. Do it. Because you have to like. Cover. My husband yeah. in the hospital, we only got him one night. So we were trying to learn everything in one night. Wow. And he just started pissing up in the sky. And, and oh. I was like, we'll cover it. And my <laughs> husband's like, what do I do? And I was like, do something. Oh, my God. Would you let him be, since you both were, like, in entertainment, would you let him be, like, a child star? That's a great question. Because Trish is like, my little Malibu's going to be one. If he was, like, mommy's stoked bells. on it. Like, my, my husband at three was like, I want to be in and on the TV. Like, I want wow. to be there. I wondered. And that's why he, he um, did all the auditions and stuff. Yeah. It was never like, you Pushed. have to do this to make rent, you know? Yeah. But, um, so we always say, like, if he's, a, a su like, super into something, we'll help him. He'll yeah. be our little Nepo baby. Right. But, like... <laughs> I'm not going to be like, piano lessons now, you know? Right. It's interesting because, like, I get, I'm both ways. Like, for me, I always wanted to do it, too, when I was, like, a kid. I wanted to be, like, Mary Kane Ashley so bad. And so, for me, I'm like, we should get her headshots. But then people made me feel weird about doing it because I was, like, they're, like, oh, they, they're going to be traumatized and all this stuff. And I'm, like, well, like you can I've just done do a great photo so shoot many baby photo shoots. Right. <laughs> I've done so it's many baby photo shoots. Did she just say that she wanted to get headshots taken of Malibu for work? even need to say any more shady comments <laughs> she just said she wanted to take headshots of Malibu for work Once yeah. a month we were taking photo shoots. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, okay. The probably like babies. <laughs> yeah. Like, Look how cute he is. because no, Megan Trainer's talking about getting photos done of her baby, and that's why Trisha said that. I a bathtub. Because I'm not, do people reach out to you? Because we had one for like a Target no. ad. See? I'm serious because he's, I would not been reached out for oh. my kid to be on a fucking commercial or anything. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> he's and so cute. Mad. But yeah, we, we did one Gerber deal. Oh, and you it did. Started his bank account. It was oh, like, oh, I love that. Made money. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I think is great. And I that's feel fine. like, and it was like, in a, I had to feed him anyway. So I was like, why not take one picture? <laughs> right. you know? Oh, I see. So it was like and a sponsor. It wasn't like yeah. a commercial. Okay. No, because like nobody does commercials anymore, dude. Yeah. My biggest deals are coming in, and they're like, I was like a shampoo commercial, right? They're like TikTok. I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm a full influencer. Okay. It's where the money's at. The Target one yeah. it was for Target and it was for like in the store, like a poster, and it was only like two thousand dollars. I mean, two thousand two thousand is good, but like That's on TikTok, awesome. yeah. But you could get like twenty thousand for like a TikTok on that. Not oh. me. I don't get sponsorships. I'm saying, but I know TikTokers. I get Look at Trisha trying to keep the level of relatability while saying the truth of her job as well. You're on, which is fine. At least Megan Trainer, who's also like a millionaire, pretended that they, you know, value two thousand dollars. Trisha just went mm, two thousand. Megan Trainer was like, no, that's good. That's good. That's Trisha. I have squirting videos. <laughs> that That's where I make my money. You, baby. <laughs> no, but yeah. I would love to. I need to people to call you. I know. Or, they they dropped me. I don't know. <laughs> they dropped me. There's more bright writers out I, there. I, Wait, did she say about Adam and Eve? Did I just miss that? I'm going to call you. 
I know. Or, they they I dropped mean, me. I don't know. Wait, I don't get sponsorships. I'm saying I know TikTokers. I get zero on, which is fine. I have squirting videos. <laughs> but that, <laughs> that's where I make my money. baby. <laughs> no, but yeah, I would love to. I need vibrator people to call you. Oh, vibrator people. I know. They, they dropped me. I don't know. <laughs> they dropped Oh, so Adam and Eve have dropped her? Quick, do I have an Adam and Eve product around? Hmm. Hmm. This is my guest bedroom. There normally is stuff in here. Must be in my main bedroom. Oh, but I do have these. They, I can't show them actually. <laughs> um. Must all be in my main bedroom. Anyway. Trisha, I still have my Adam and Eve deal. <laughs> <laughs> There's more. Bye, man. Code Adam50, y'all. Code Adam50. I'm still persistent that I'll find something in here. It must be in my main bedroom. Hold on. Wait, I knew it! I knew it! I told you. I, like, always will have, like, Adam and Eve products just, like, around my apartment. Code Adam50. Trisha, guess who still has their deal? <laughs> There's that Adam yeah. 50. <laughs> Vibrators. Don't they know money to make off of that? <laughs> I would love to. No, Wait, I know. I'm going to steal all your time. Do it. No. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm so excited. Okay, okay. Okay. So I was in a mood. I was impatient. Where did I go? Back to YouTube for more tips. Why are we reading Megan Trainer's book? Just one take. Like, uh, hey, you mispronounce all these words. This is a, like, I can't read this book. <laughs> I didn't have an editor. I just think you're not going to self published on Amazon. So I was writing all these books when I was like 22 and publishing them, and they have like the worst grammar. And oh, you are fucking. <laughs> That's so iconic. That's I'm very <laughs> Legendary. I should take them off Amazon because they they're a mess. No, you have like a lot of books that had like really like really 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 bad fantasies and stuff like that. I don't want to say anything and get misquoted, but I'm pretty sure there's like a lot of really bad stuff on there. Oh, let me buy them first. They're like and autobiographies, but there definitely was like lies in there. <laughs> I definitely made them. <laughs> That's up. my favorite part. It's like it's, it's people just, were it's catching so it because <laughs> I wrote this book called The Stripper. People Guys. love I, a lie. Yeah, I know. Well, I, I I used to be. I don't like people love a lie. When the lies and questions about Trisha revolve around her accuse, we'll not go there. Anymore, but I did use to lie a lot. And I did this book called The Stripper Diaries. And I was an actual stripper. My sister lived with me at the time. I actually did strip. That was the truth. But like, I, I said I wrote these like diaries during my stripper years. And um, someone caught me because I said I was like doing it on my iPhone. Like the iPhone wasn't out until 2009. And I was saying it was like 2003. And they were like, I was like, oh. <laughs> That's a big one, bitch. Oh, but no. <laughs> on it all the time I'm like oh my god it's just a lot of things so you know what I was like yeah I really need and you know what breathing meditation helped me stop lying because I used to like lie about like just stupid shit all the time I'm like what is my problem why can't I stop lying so I've done really good since meeting Moses and stuff like seriously I've like meditate and breathe I don't feel the need how to often do you meditate and breathe and every day okay so during pregnancy I literally did it for two and a half hours every morning for real now two and, it's and like, a half hours yeah now it's like a 10 to 15 minutes in the morning yeah. if I can get longer great but instead of like going number two I just like meditate because I'm like you know what? I got to do this in the morning because if I don't it like throws me off but I do gratitude journal for like 30 minutes i meditate yeah how do we know she's not lying about that at night and in the morning holy fuck yeah i try to do it like any time i can Wait, yeah, i love it how you can take this out if you want i'm yeah. jealous of your sex life and i don't even know what it is i bet it's amazing <laughs> yeah well how yeah. many times do you do it a week oh my god okay so before okay so that was... do i want to hear about this another part of postpartum that was so hard so before yeah. we were like we met during quarantine so we were having sex obviously like five times a day i was like a sex addict i remember you five you times said, a day like, yeah. lovely, like, god bless moses over yeah. the couch and, like, oh yeah violence. oh my god it was great and then when i got pregnant i was so scared he was gonna like hurt the baby so we couldn't have like violent sex it was very yeah. weird and to the side i and... couldn't have sex at all in the first pregnancy really I was what like, was it my big my husband i'm guessing she'll say five times a week oh no she said five times a day she said like five times a day and mama, who's opposed to that? <laughs> a big boy. No. Okay. And I was like, she has, a she has like pussy anxiety though. My pussy's broken though. though. She pussy freaks anxiety. out. Yours is little and his is big. Is this that what he Yes. Big. Oh. But okay. also, damn. Like, no, to the point where I'm That's like, amazing. is it all in? And he's like, just a tip. And I'm like, oh. I can't do it anymore. Oh. You know? 
a big How heart. How do I fix that? Oh my god, I don't know. Well, like, should I stretch? Five percent, five percent of the day. No, no, he's like good size. I, you know, he's, he's good. good size. Yeah, it's not. It's. it's I, think I wish I could mid. make Daryl small. Oh my god, with the big a doctor. I know people are always like, he's got a big dick, and I don't envy like Hate huge it. dicks Hate too much. It. I used to think it was like great, and then I'm like, oh, I don't know, that sounds painful. It's can you, painful. Can you not do dude. anal then? No anal. I'm fucking never have done anal. I can't put a finger out there. Oh really? I feel like I'll poop all day. Oh man, because I do anal. Yeah, we used to love it store. before pregnancy. And then again, like during pregnancy, I was like peeing and stuff. And I was like, this is not sexy. This is like not it. Because we would do anal and I like pushed my pee out. And I was like, this is not cute. I would like, no so, like way. Kiss. Yeah, it was so bad. That's and then, connected. And then I thought after pregnancy, right. I was like, well, I'm bleeding from my vagina. We can try anal. But oh my God, I hurt so bad after pregnancy. You're and such like, a no. nice wifey. Oh, no. I was oh don't say wifey. Don't say wifey's. That word's triggering to her. He is. He like didn't care. He's like just really? rest because I had a diaper full of blood. He's like just rest. I'm like yes, no no no. Let's get in the shower. Let's do it because I was like really horny after. It was really weird. What? But, I know, but I, I was, was like, like for a year. I was like do not look at me. Do not touch me. Really? Yeah, I think that's very it normal. It took me so long to like even consider having sex with him. Really? Yeah, I'm like he's a, a saint. I, yeah. And I made sure he was fine. But right, like right, yeah, the like sex. I was like yeah, your mouth's not pregnant. Take yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Figure it out, I'm trying. I know. And it was... Sorry, I just remembered that the guy sitting beside them is Megan Trainer's brother. <laughs> Sweet home Alabama. You know what? Like, And I, I genuinely loved it. I don't know. I don't know. There, I think there's something psychologically that was, like, wrong with me. Like, I just, like, love him. I think I was, like, an addict at no, one point. Uh, you're fucking great. Yeah. But now it's hard. I aspire to be you. <laughs> well, I I'm like, babe, don't worry. We'll get a sex doctor. We're, like... <laughs> We'll do sex therapy. Well, if he has like a huge penis, I mean, I don't know how people do that. Like, it is, it is a lot. Like, it's a lot to, it's a lot to get. That's her brother. Sweet. Oh, well, well. And we'll get yeah. Inside. But like, also, I was told I have like something called vigimizel or something. Vig- 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 what? Vig- What's that? Vaginismus, bitch. You got I actually hate this. There, so, like, I, I thought that every woman walking around was always in pain during and after sex. Oh. I was like, Doc, are you telling me that I could have sex and not feel a single bit of pain? And oh she my was God. like, me, yes. I was like. <gasps> what were you feeling, like cramps? I, no, like stingy burning. As soon as you would penetrate, I was like, ah, 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 like that. And like to the point when I was making this baby, yeah. I fucking had to ice myself after. Oh my God, you're an athlete. <laughs> and it wasn't, we're not crazy, I'm a starfish. I go, get it done, you know? <laughs> and we're having fun, it's great. With the what? Get it done, and then I'm icing myself, and I go. There's gotta be another way. You know yeah. what I mean? I like, like that though. I like to feel a little pain. The pain. Yeah. yeah. I, I try to. I try to manipulate myself and go. Oh, it feels so tough. It's good. Yeah. But, but you're it, not. It, it doesn't. Well, the aftermath sucks. I'm like Daryl. I have to work today, and I can't work. Oh, like you know, in like cartoons, whenever they're like so uncomfortable, they just like go, like. This is like honestly one of like the worst things I've ever watched. What well, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's a great so, feeling though. You're just and like my doctor one doctor in Australia was like, listen, this isn't gonna be an easy recovery. And I was like, what? She's like, it's all up here, baby. And I was oh. like, fuck. It's Wait, like, so do you like meditate? Is that where you were going? I like meditation that during it's sex? Like, I don't know. I gotta figure <laughs> she, this out. Because you can't. We, we all learned transcendental meditation. We all? Jesus, I thought he was gonna talk about his sex with his fucking Megan. I don't know where this is going anymore. But yeah. I feel like Time that, and place. You're right. He doesn't do it too often. Oh, I try yeah. and do it at I least once asleep. a day. Like I, after this, I'll do it. I, I think it's to do it this morning. Every time. So I was like, oh, well, I'm napping at this yeah. point. That's the best kind. I know, I know. It really oh, is. Like you have to almost focus to not fall asleep. So yeah. I like, because I do that too sometimes, and you just want to be like clear headed. Yeah. You know, not even like good thoughts. People do like affirmations, which is good. But I always just like do like clear thoughts, and it's like just nothing in my head. It's like the best. And I do it during sex. Like when you like have like no thoughts in your head, it's kind really? of like the best sex ever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. one time. There, you're present. Yeah. You're not thinking, is this good? Is this whatever? One time a zebra popped into my head and i was like <laughs> everything must stop Could I like no, no i was just like i have weird thoughts <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah you need to like yeah you i need, need to meditation. figure out my brain and the, on oh. google it was like you must have one bad experience and so now every time you relate like oh it's gonna hurt just like that time oh and then i squeeze it's involuntary oh. dude i'm contracting and it, <laughs> i'm like ah 
<laughs> and it's, it's weird because if you're doing missionary, that should be the best angle for a big penis. I've tried every angle. And you know what's so funny? I listen to the Caller Daddy podcast, which is a podcast literally that just talks about like sucking and fucking and whatever like that. Some like this is like like one of the most vulgar sex conversations I've ever heard. And I listen to the Call Her Daddy podcast. For context. And if you go to the one, back. Each one is worse than the other. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh my God. Like sitting on top of it would be so. A nightmare. And he's like, let's try. I'm like, please no for <laughs> so many reasons. I'm like, don't look at me. I don't like this. I literally can't believe I'm like scared to say shit or fuck on YouTube while there's people being like sucking and fucking and like. This hurts <laughs> way worse. <laughs> Yeah, no, sex, I'm gonna yeah. figure it out. I'm gonna be a star at sex, and then I'm gonna be a star. At sex. I'm gonna be a star. <laughs> it's a big star. It's hard with the baby though. Our baby is like in our bed all like in our bedroom all the time, and I'm always just like, oh, I feel like awkward. So we have to really find it. We have to, like, oh, put her in her how nap. old is she? She's only seven months. Is she in her own room yet? She's in a bassinet. No, she's not. She's like okay. Ours. At yeah. six months, we moved him over, and we were that we were like, this is early. But some people move him to their own room at like fucking four months. Then some people like sleep till they're then eight they years old. Just don't let them sleep in your bed, bro. It's oh, oh, God. I know, I know, I know. Should I never like, go back. I know. And once he, you tease him, they're like, oh, "I'm here to stay." I know. And he and most you'll gone, never sleep again. I know. He was gone one night, and she like would not sleep. My sister was over, and it was like midnight, and she There's was not sleeping. There's some guys him in. Yeah, yeah. I did. She that. was like, "Not we sleeping." We did that. We fucked up though. We would yeah. bring him in and be like, "Baby Einstein," and we watch oh. TV. That's the worst thing. Yes, you could possibly yes. Do. I know. He's like, "Oh, so I could like watch TV and get yeah. up and be with mom and dad." Yeah. We were like, then we were like, we're cutting this shit off. I know. She it's watches so Miss Rachel all the time. I just can't hear. Yeah. I cannot hear this fucking kid cry. Yeah, like, I won't have it. It's better to just put. This and Daryl's like, turn it off, and I was like, I can't. I'm going in there. Like, yeah, we have fights over it. Have, you should do like a children's album. Oh, I'm gonna. Are you? Absolutely. Like with the book. Like, I feel like you do like the mother song, the mother book. Yeah, you're pregnant. You're gonna mother. lay out my career for me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, she got you canceled after this podcast, so I don't know if I would advise that, Megan. I don't know if I would advise them. God, you're so smart. Like, I don't know how to coordinate these things. I timed this bit out perfectly. That's... I did. <laughs> did you plan it? Like, did you plan we the were... timing? I, I didn't know this would be done at this perfect time. Right. But, um, and then when I was pregnant, then I wrote Mother. And I was like, oh, shit. I'm going to have my mother song, uh, my mother book. And it works baby. out very well. Oh, my God. Trisha and Megan are just alike. They're both talking about how they can have the perfect professional rollout for their babies so that it is the best way monetized as, as possible. You know what? These two actually are very alike. By Mother's we Day. Like, everyone's like, yeah. how the, they asked my managers, how do you get it all lined up? No, it's so, it was so good. I mean, from the outside, I am like, this doesn't even seem real. Like, this seems like, so, it, but it's amazing. Your house doesn't seem real. You don't seem real. It's really amazing. It's really crazy. You're like, okay. everything. You're everything. You're like, everything. Was there anything else that we fucking talked about that one wanted to ask her before I let her live her life? <laughs> How long have we stole her for? What's the time? Scale? I just want Trisha to have all the sponsors, uh, yeah. sponsorships. Yeah, sponsorships come like, back. Manifest that for me. Yeah. I used to make She's a mother. so much. It's time for TikToks. People got to figure it out. You get the numbers. I see you. I hey, see you. Hey, we're on Snapchat because that's where I was making money. Yeah, right Snapchat. Now. Yeah, Snapchat. How? My Snapchat got I don't banned. Know how? Because okay. I was posting only hands, so my Snapchat's <laughs> okay. out. But okay. I want it back. Well, Please learn. Make another one. We learn. Yeah. We learn. We learn. No, I had yeah. so many. When I started it again a couple months ago, I had like a million views on it, and I was like, and then they like banned me because those freaking haters reported me because I didn't know what you could do like. I wasn't doing <laughs> He said that. I can't believe this has taken us two days to complete this video. <laughs> I'm showing you OnlyFans. I was just like tweeting the link or whatever. Snap. Blur out a couple tits. I know, but they didn't want that. They were, I won't they do it again. They didn't want that. I know. Yeah. I was like, now you have so much different content. You know, you just mom, mom content. Oh, I know. Yeah. Just alone. All the oh, don't tease her with that. ASMR shit. I know. Oh, the ASMRs. I, would, Again, I know. I oh, really want questions. to. I don't know. Where do you get your inspiration Thanks. from? Is what Pepe wants to know, my manager. I like love fun. the name Pepe. Like, Pepe. I love pasta. I love yeah, Pepe. It's so good. I love it. It's so cute. You're everything. It's so funny because on email, you're so professional. I felt like I was bothering you. Every time I was emailing you, I'm like, on I'm email, so he's sorry. And in real life, he's a bottom. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Emailing, I'm like, I'm so sorry. Like, this date doesn't work either. What am I was joking? Like, so... Look at him. He's adorable. I know. You were so great. You're so nice. I just Thank yell you. I love you so much. Okay. Um, I don't, I honestly don't know. I think I just always smell like a <laughs> Thank fuck I got an ad. <laughs> Normally, people are like, no, I'm at ad break. This time, people are like, yay! <laughs> Five minutes away. <laughs> Because of like lack of like, it's like a friends. smoking break. So I just like imagine things in my head. So I wa I consume a lot of content. Um, I love like lately it's just been like cosplay has always inspired me. So when I see something, I'm like, okay, I can dress up as this person. You know what I mean? So that's just I don't know. Just 
content just inspires me. Like, Thank I actually, like, love TikTok you. for that reason because I get so inspired by people. Like, they're all, like, just everything. Like, it's amazing. TikTok's great and you're great on it. Oh, when you used my mother's song with your baby, I literally died. Oh, yeah. We used all of them. We lose the Louis Yeah. That song? I was saw them all. And we were everywhere. Like, oh my god! Like I loved it, but oh my god, it was like every TikTok was. Yeah. I could have my Gucci on. I was like, oh my god. I know. It's on Fortnite like, now. Like, Shout out Fortnite. No way. Yeah. yeah. Do you get like Ebo. paid? I, it. I think so. I think I, I, think I do it, and the dancers do. The yeah. girls who made it up. They made the Jess. dance. Wow. Oh wait, really? Ricky and Jesse. Yeah. Ricky and Jesse made it up. Okay, that's so smart. Then the TikTok dances too. I just found out I had like hundreds of thousands of dollars in like publishing that I didn't even know. Someone just collected it for me. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. You need a good like business manager. I was just uploading my own music on Symphonic. Bitch, Megan Trainer's business manager is Lucifer fucking Taylor, Lou Taylor, who tried to fucking ruin Britney Spears' life. Oh, shut the fuck up. You need a good business manager. Your one being Lou fucking Taylor. Trisha brings up Britney Spears and you go, don't bring her up. Shut up. I was paying so much for my music and not making anything back. My music videos were like $100,000 and I was like not making any money. And then like recently people were trying to buy like some of my songs and I was like, why do you put these songs? They're like trash. And then my the people I was uploading with, they're like, oh, there's like a bunch of money sitting there that you never collected. Like ASCA. I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You need someone finding that money for you. So now yeah. they did it and I just got it. I just got like a bunch. I got like six figures. I was like, oh my God, finally, because I always lost money with Let's music. Go. Thank you. I love you, Jesus. That and Fat Checks were my only two that oh, I ever had. I love you, wow. Jesus. This is so yeah. good. I'm also a song. But I love you. Why do we not know she's lying about that? Didn't she? She just say that she likes to passively lie about everything. Moses. Don't get it. Oh my god. Shinge, thank you so much for gifting a sub. Sorry, I have the thing off just so it's not loud for everyone on YouTube. But thank you so much for that. Thank you, Shinge. Intimidated by my really <laughs> really watch all your music videos. When yeah. I Love You Moses came out, we were like watching the video. Oh, that was like, oh thank you. I was like, that's her man. Oh, I loved it. Honestly, before I had a kid, I spent all my money on music videos, but now I need to I be remember. smart. And I okay, literally spent uh, every money. so much. Money. Yeah. Oh my god. Sorry. Oh wow. Six figures from nowhere. Oh yeah. Probably a light. Either way. <laughs> Stop talking about all your money. And now, a, like a good video can't be less than a um, a million dollars. What? And I'm like, where? Show me the budget now. Like, it's where crazy. is the what's going where? No, it's so expensive. Like, I guess yeah. the COVID testing alone is like a whole new chunk of cash. And you have to have like a COVID person on site, yeah. right? Yeah. There's a whole body we're paying for oh the days. My, my manager's like, I can break it down for you. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Like, this is bullshit. We're being scammed. <laughs> no, we were doing it so cheap and it still was yeah. like, we did one on the beach where we were like blowing bombs up and it was like $300,000. <laughs> I was like, I should not you, spend your this Your videos much. are fucking lit. <laughs> yeah, but then I went broke and I was like, let me just save some of this money yeah, and not spend it all. That's why I don't regret it but i just you know you can't this is not even saying it like this is just a genuine thing and i have nothing to back this up but when trisha paytas talks about how she would blow all her money on music videos like hundreds of thousands of dollars leaving herself broke was she paying tax again i i'm like this is just a question i've you know but like when trisha says that she spent all her money on music videos Dizzy, thank you so much. Dizzy girl, my little regular. If Trisha's saying that she was spending all her money on music videos and she had nothing left over, how was she affording to pay her tax? I'm not saying she doesn't, but like, if you're telling us you're going broke because of your music videos, you have no money left over, then you get like a million dollar house, multi-million dollar house. She's just exaggerating. So then, like, yeah. I can't regret it. Those yeah. are the best. Oh, when you do um, my comical romance. Yeah, I was hoping they would like one of our notice favorite me. things. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't. They did. They didn't reach oh, out. Oh, I'm sure he's like Gerard. I love him. I'm sure he's less like, oh my god, like you are so weird and creepy. Because they what? If they were like, oh, the director of the videos, he did say something in an interview. Because someone asked him, they're like, what do you think about Trisha Paytas doing these videos? I was like, oh my god, why did they ask him this question? So embarrassing. And he's like, oh, she looks like she put a lot of effort into it. <laughs> Which I was happy. He did like Helena. I'm not you okay. Did, you did it justice, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you. Like I you didn't tried. do something. You didn't like. Make a cardboard church and was like, it was just fucking in a church. Yeah. yeah. Well, she did the cardboard cutout with and Brad Pitt. I was pregnant when my chemical romance came here. I well, I mean, I can't say anything. I have so many. Oh, yeah, because they were just... <laughs> And then they'll probably never tour again. Where'd that come from? My man Sally saw them. Rich people don't yeah. pay tax. Oh, just recently? Yeah. I wanted to go. Where'd that come uh, from? Wait, they're bad? No, they're back. They're back. They're back. They're, they're, back. Back. they're, they're back on tour. Like... So you could, you they're fantastic. Wait, in the U.S.? No. They'll eventually come here because they're in Sydney. 
<laughs> yeah. I think that I think that was the end of it because I was like so sad and I was like maybe I should go to Australia. Do you know them? Maybe can I? Do you know yeah. them? <laughs> <laughs> Pick her up, bitch! I will get you tickets can I go? to any <laughs> show you want. I don't get starstruck over many people, but I do love my Kamala and Britney. Do you, you met Britney Spears, right? I know we have to go uh, but... in person like once, yeah, but she's the best. You wrote for her. You wrote a song? Uh, I try every day. No, I no? don't. No? Oh, wait, I thought. No, J-Lo. Is that what you're thinking? Oh, maybe. That's... Oh. <laughs> oh, that's what I just found out. The I'm Not Your Mother. I'm Mama. Mama. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love it. Wait, oh, now your song's in my head. Oh, yeah. Your Mama. Oh, yeah. I'm your Mama, I did no. a dance video with this guy. Mm-hmm. This guy I dated. Yeah. He, we did a dance video to that song, and I loved it. Oh, my God. That's so crazy. It's crazy you write songs for other people. When I hear that, I'm always like, like, who's the other one with, like, the bangs? I forget her name. Ah, oh, with oh, the bangs God. and the little girl in the video. Fifth Harmony. No. <laughs> Sia, Sia. Like, Sia. Oh, she writes Sia. so many songs yeah. for people, and I was like, wow. No, she's my dream girl. I want to be Sia. And you're like kind of like Ed Sheeran because he does that too. I like, know, I love that. I want to be know. like... This is so, like... Him? Or, uh, I met him once, he was great. And I was I like, let's like... take a picture, and I was like 19, and he was like... Oh, the middle finger, and I was like, <laughs> it was a, it was like a dope after party. He was having a good time. No, dude, we were backstage of um, X Factor in the UK. Oh, and I, I thought, like, oh, I thought it was, I thought it was T Swift's uh, Billboard Awards. No, party. that was another one. I was too afraid to go say hi. Oh my oh. god, your life is amazing. And do you still do the voice? The um, I did the voice in the UK. Yeah, yeah, do you still do that? Um, no, because I just did Australian Idol. Australian I'm just Idol. popping to all of them I around know. the world. You're everywhere. Because my goal is that <laughs> the voice in America calls so I could drive oh, down the street. Why wouldn't you do that? <laughs> that way, that's so I'm crazy. sure they would love to have you after all of this amazing controversy that Trishy Fishy got you in. They yeah. won't call me. You are, and also you're like the most humble queen. You literally came out to the front door when we came, and I was like, oh my God, that's her walking out. Oh like, God, I ran. My mom's like, she's here. I was like, oh my fuck. <laughs> uh, you're literally the nicest, like most humble. It's like crazy to me. Like, I haven't processed this yet, but I'm like thinking about this now, all the stuff you do, and I'm like, wow, it's because so, the whole time we've been here, you've been just. The most humble person is someone who answers the door of their own house jesus i must be the most fucking humble person ever i meet them down in the lobby and bring them up to my apartment so nice and like super sweet and humble and you're like here let me show you this i'm like wow and i'm not just saying that like you're i mean the jew raised by really amazing parents yeah you can tell i know let's get up where's your mom in here i love her i love it great no i love that you're all i wish she saw the squirt video Is that it? Anything else? It was so good. This is your moment. Yeah, yeah. Get over here now. Get over here now. Icon. <laughs> Ask on the mic. Okay. Too good. I am Pepe. I'm your biggest fan. I love you. Um, I'd love to know about your filming of the This Is What Dreams Are Made Of music video and what inspired it. And also just in general, what your costume closet looks like. Oh. Because you have, it must be a, a warehouse of yes. looks that you have. My mom keeps all of them. Also, I'm friends with Hilary Duff and I will text to her. Oh, my God. Oh, I, no, that's the one of her managers. Music forever. I mean, she Same. was like such the biggest inspiration for my movie. I think she said might be younger than me. And I was like obsessed with her, even though I was probably too old to be obsessed with her. But no, I, what dreams are made of, have, like, like three the moment left. in the Lizzie McGuire movie when she performs with herself at the end, I just like yep. wanted to be that so me bad. Too. I was like, that's iconic in I every way. that's why I'm a pop star. Yeah, <laughs> because of the movie. I yeah. Mean, our, it came out 20 years ago. Like today, I saw a TikTok. No way. And, and then it was like, changed lives forever. And I sent it I to like her. Sweatshirt. It changed my life forever. No way. (laughs) The fact that you even text Hillary Duff, I'm like, what? She didn't respond, but she loved it. Oh my God. (laughs) And she's a child star that turned out like beautiful. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, I think we're at the teacher part. Uh oh, I forgot about this. Sorry, it's been so boring that I got distracted. Uh oh. Wow, it was in the last five minutes. Damn. Oh, they were so close. They were so close to getting out of this with no drama. They were so close. You were just minutes away. Just minutes away from, from being fine. Very what fucking cool. Very yeah. down to earth. Very real. Your I husband. Like, I feel like he seems like he's down to earth. He's one of the few. Because every time I see him Wait. with all, like, in old stuff, like, when we're watching him act. Yeah. I'm like, what happened to that boy? He's like, drugs. I'm like, what happened to that one? And he's like, yeah. rehab. I'm like, uh, what about this one? And like, died. I already said this in my video, so I'll say it really quickly. I hate how she says this. It's like one-upping, like, all of the people that her husband, who was a child star, has lost due to substance abuse and, you know, a lot of them being ending their own lives and stuff like that. It's just such a feeling like you're better than it, especially when you're sitting beside your brother who's openly said that they struggle with alcoholism and stuff, and you're like, alcohol, drugs, dead. What, you're one-upping that your husband's still alive and that others have lost their lives due to not being able to handle being a child star? It's just a stupid thing to say. 
And he yeah. never, he never did. He never no, went. No, he That's never crazy. went like hardcore. He was very normal. He went wow. right to school. Oh. So he got bullied. He like, was, oh. pants. Are we ready for the teacher comment? Yeah. In front of what? the whole school. Yeah. Oh, for being like an, a child for, actor? For being a star. Yeah. Those movies were iconic. Dude. Like Spike Kids. And like iconic. the principal, he was like, just be chill. Like, I'm going to come to school. I'm like eight years old. Like, <laughs> everyone be nice. The principal made an announcement. Like, the Spy Kid is coming to our school. Oh, God. And he was like, what? Uh, why do they do, do that? that? <laughs> yeah. It's hard. I guess so. that's hard. Just, that, that is jealousy. Because she always yeah. says that too. But yeah. I mean, he that, was humbled. But, yeah. No, but. but we're I mean, homeschooling our kids. Same. I think everyone Fuck should. That. Like, we all, yeah. Everyone on TikTok is. They're like, yeah. this is what it's like to have a kid. In school in America, I have a bulletproof backpack. I was like, fuck all that. Like, uh-uh. yeah, but also Bullying. kids can be mean. Teachers. Uh, that, that was my teachers. trauma. Teachers. And, teachers, You dude. know, but then also, yeah, the violence. I mean, I think it's just that thing. It's not even private school. It's just, like, having them homeschool. And We're then, homeschooling. Yeah. I, I like think that's how it goes. So okay, far, yeah. Fan fucking death. I heard it's great. Like, people have, like, homeschooling it's meetings. Great. And, yeah. And there's so many teachers out here that are so nice and kind. And yeah. And, like, will come to your house and, like, do a whole thing. Our teacher. Can I tell you? Our teacher. <laughs> <sighs> I love that they're throwing a rind that like rich or non-rich kids who have to go to school, pff, they have to wear bulletproof vests. The teachers have to deal with that. Pff, not us. We're rich. We're homeschooling. Go fuck yourself. I mean, I filmed a video on this. So I'm not going to dwell on it. You know, I like literally have like a 20 minute video just like going in on this. Um, but what a stupid thing to say. It's like my, my, I love my kids so much that my kid's not gonna die in school. That's how that's how that comes across as. Just all damn day, and we have like a shared album. Yeah, that's yeah. the best. Like if I have yeah. to work and they have like three hours of school, and then he sends me pictures. I love that, and that's like all they need. The school they really drag out, right? With like recess and like yeah. free time and study time. I'm like, yeah, okay, even like they really drag it out. So here's just another example of like, oh, like if you're not homeschooling your kid and you're not spending all this money on them, which most people can't afford you're not doing the best job as a parent. Like, when you're in high school and you're homeschool, I see all these kids that are like, I had two hours of work, yeah. and then I went and did, like, yard work and, like, learned real-life things. Yeah. yeah, no, it's it's, like, it's oh, so much better. That. Yeah, it's so much better. So I feel like, yeah, that's where it goes. But Let's save our kids. But we love him. Let's save our kids, Megan Trainer says, about not sending her kid to public school. Woo. Which is so funny because all of the non-homeschooled kids who had to do online school during the pandemic came out of the pandemic saying how much that didn't work for them. So, go fuck yourself, Megan. Hillary Duff. We love Hillary Duff. <laughs> we love you. Yeah, she is great. Save the Nepo babies. And this is the, this is the best interview. Oh my god. I was like, I mean, I just want you to come back every I week. Should, I love it. I'm so- I cannot believe that the controversial part was literally within the last two minutes. I'm stopping it there. Oh, jeez. Well, that was so much fun, you guys. All right. Um, not even joking. So, obviously, we talked about the teacher comment. It was just one of, like... It was just one of the worst podcasts I've ever listened to. And I... Let me turn my alerts back on. There we go. Sorry for turning them off. I, ju- I just think it was one of the most bleak things ever but i'm glad we watched it because a lot of people will always say you know you can't give your opinion until you've watched it i watched it so i can say it's shit um just not good i was not entertained by them i the word entertaining never comes to mind whenever in the past hour 25 um not good really ignorant in so many places like so many places and i'm glad i watched it you know so i can have the full context but really 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 piss per so shout out to twitch for being here in the moment over the two days if anybody has watched till the end on youtube please comment the clone emoji down below or the tomato emoji so i know that you watched it but yeah really piss per really ignorant and extremely privileged yeah all right, there's that. 